I don't know how much of the um, intro sequence you've watched, by the way, but it gets more and more batshit as it goes on. Uh, no, I haven't, because I've always been so quite keen to oh, yeah, get through it, to be you honest. Can't, you can't <laughs> skip it. Like, it's just it's just a loading yeah. screen, but sometimes it takes a long time to load. And earlier, yeah. I was watching... I was, I was baking something in the background whilst loading it, and it starts to pour like gold onto an exposed human heart. And now there's a guy standing in a pool of blood in front of a giant flower. And it's like, this isn't the game I've been playing. <laughs> so, uh, now why can't, uh, hmm. I need piggyback onto them if you're currently hosting. So it's going to help out as me because um, obviously due to our uh, unsafe exploiting, that's not fair. Um, we uh, she lost her stuff, but I can't see their prospect. But I think once I've been in a prospect, it's fine. But I think they need to be hosting it before I can get in. I think. Can you see mine? Uh, no, not be any. Which is about normal for this game. Hang on. No, I can't see the one you're in because that. Well, unless you just started one. Try now. What? Oh, it just says you just. Yes. Is that as me as one or is that a different one? No, mine. It's nearly done. It's the short one. Oh, okay. I'll do that while we're waiting for. Uh... not forget to take my stuff back with me yeah so we figured out how to definitely do the short one which is to uh build a wall around the uh, thing that spawns and then the bobs don't even they spawn and they can't root find to the thing <laughs> and just stand there until the number goes up don't tell them <laughs> oh no don't don't develop fixing that no well this is the thing i mean in fortress craft i had to sometimes fight very hard because people will find exploits Um, and we mm. uh, had to sort of say, well, that's not how you're supposed to play it. Uh, yeah, the old, old prospect thing I was in one that Simon was mentioning earlier about getting out of. So yes. Need to get out of that one. Um, since we are streaming and this is kind of on topic, yes. my microphone's a blue Yeti. Yes. Um, which is fine for this sort of environment where it's just me in the room and talking to one person, you know, talking to a group of people, but one person in this room is only me making noise in here. As soon as the kids are in here and they're making noise, it picks up them as yeah. well. Oh, yeah. I and mean, that's a bad thing. I mean, I found with... I sometimes have an issue, like, my microphone picks up my background noise louder than I can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm thinking, should I change my microphone to a uni... Uh, sorry, unidirectional, yeah. Well, or maybe better talk at the microphone rather than talk near it, sort of thing. To be fair, unidirectional microphones are, it's the same thing, but there's, there's no, it, it's, all it is, is really, it's just a cap on the front of it. That's about the difference. It's just, you're, you're talking down a tube rather than anything else. It's not like, a, there's only one type of microphone, you know, there is just, essentially cardioid, there isn't anything else. So, I thought you did have a, a, a mode on your edge or something, though. Yeah, see, so I've got several modes. Yeah. Um, if you fiddle with it four, that does work a lot better. So unfortunately, uh, you can't. Crisp isn't smart enough to understand the chatter of background children. Yes. Oh, Henry, you've already started it. Yep. This will be very quick then. Yep. So the real question is, am I. Oh, I've done it again. I started the mission and immediately headed in the, in the wrong direction. <laughs> I just went down to the plant surface and back up again for apparently no reason. Oh, you've left the other, the one we'd be doing, the uh, the snow. Yes. One. Yeah. 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 You'll get your reward. Um, Hundred twenty-five. Ah. So the weather's perfectly fine, but it says I'm in the middle of a storm. What? Sorry, I'm just confused here. What do we spend the R on? Oh, uh, 
starting items is probably the safest way of phrasing it. Right. Um, yeah, just, just ha is it under workshop? So you can start with a better thing. We well, start quite a lot of better things, but I mean, there's, there's lots of stuff. There's loads of ways that you can spec differently. Um. But obviously that depends, you know, on your particular playing style. I've gone with... How about you want a special currency to unlock anything other than the basics? No, 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 no. Now, all it means is you start off with stuff that's sort of medium tier. But it means I started off with a nice pickaxe. I started off with a nice axe. I started off with a nice water bottle. And I've started off with a nice oxygen bottle. So I don't need to bother crafting those. It just makes life slightly yeah. easier. But you cannot repair them during a mission. So if you get the pickaxe, it will wear out within about... 20 minutes but that but that does let you i said uh jump start the progression you mm -hmm. must remember to put them back in your drop ship for taking off even if they're broken they yes get, well yes. yeah they only they, they get repaired well, you get a new one you know but they get repaired at the end of each mission like back up in right. the space station but you must remember taking back for you but you can have you can have better gear instead you have a better suit with more slots um you can have a um uh, like uh, better weapons, you can have uh, consumables, you know, like bandages and food. You know, you can spend, it's under the, I think it's workshop. There's loads of stuff, and it's definitely worth taking a, a few minutes to look around. I need more currency to do that one. And then you have to research it, and then you have to pay for it. If you lose it, obviously you have to pay for another one. Yeah. To have for bed, this game would be nice at any point. But the uh, water bottle is absolutely superb. Like, it's really very, very good. Which... That's the Hulu Canteen. Yes. Like, it's much better than the default one. But, realistically, right. drinking is not that much of a ball. You're not saving a lot of uh, anything there, really, are you? Unfortunately. Mm. Um, the axes are quite good, but they do wear out. Station but... three connected. Am I even going to make it there? Systems I'll carry on. Maybe. But yeah, if you build a wall around the thingy, they can't route find to it. You can also get suit upgrades as well. So suits with more damage, more resistances, more slots. More strength. Very expensive stuff, yeah. Oh yeah, well, well, there's expensive stuff and there's, there's cheap stuff, and you should have like what seven or eight hundred R, I guess, five hundred. I'm spending some of it now. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just thinking I might have a nice axe of a uh, Shengong Sen axe. Looks nice. Yeah, I've got the axe. It's pretty good, um, but it breaks and you, it doesn't repair during a mission. So you have yeah, to hold on to it. it. Um, but it, it's, it, it's yeah. not like it's broken and it gets deleted. It, it's broken and you can repair it when you take it back up to space. You, you're broken and yeah. someone repairs it to get back to space, yeah. Yeah. Um, my movement just... Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, a bear. Oh, fuck's sake. Uh, really, Ardy Trots? Just, just the algorithm smiled upon me. So yeah, Henry, build a wall around that and then rescue me on your way out. Need some wood. Well, there's a tree there. Give me a sec. Chop it with your big axe. Yep. Yeah, I, I did. I did so the one I've chosen is more durable, but it has a penalty of having using more stamina when you're doing axe actions. Yes. Okay, I'll take one of those. Um, I don't know if you remember. It was about 18 months ago. YouTube fixed their algorithm. And um, suddenly you were just recommended like decade old videos that are amazing. You're like, oh, this is brilliant. But they changed the way it it worked. And, you know, I assume they keep doing that. Because, I mean, this is the thing. Our videos do not get recommended. They just don't. And uh, that does not help us at all. Whereas YouTube sometimes like recommends me videos I've already seen. And you're like, um, yes. show, show me something I haven't seen. Evening, everyone. Hey, up. Howdy. Hello. Join quick. 
yeah henry's just doing the last the uh, the get resources this bit uh, not get the um triangulate mission but i'm dead i didn't even make it <laughs> halfway there i just got attacked by a bear i mean i didn't even see the bear it smacked me in the back and i was like oh. last thing you heard was ah yeah, that was it hello boo boo <laughs> <laughs> what I did, Henry, is I put four all the way round, and then I put three on top of that, press the button, and then put the fourth one down. Hope that made sense. Oh, Adam, that tickled me. I haven't heard that reference for such a long time. <laughs> Yogi Bear. <laughs> Hello, boo boo. <laughs> uh, that's what I say to Dora when she's being a sweet. But can you join a prospect after it's complete, I wonder? Not not after Henry's left, but after Henry's completed everything, but before he's taken off. So you just join in, it goes, well done. All right, I don't know. I don't Maybe. think they will let you join a complete one. No, no, not complete. Like, the mission's complete, apart from the last bit, which is leave. Yeah, like I said, I don't think it will let you do that. There we go. Well, that breaks the wonder. <laughs> uh, well, what I did is I put four around it, and then not seem just snapping to the bit underneath though for some reason. Make make the wall like like you don't need a floor. Put four walls in a, in a square. Yeah, well, it... I, I can watch it you, but I'm isn't... not doing it isn't. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. Uh, it's not going as in nine, the 90 degree. I can only build out there. Yeah, keep, keep, yeah, because you're at the crappy out. Right, you need to rotate your character 90 degrees to your right and sidestep left a bit. You need to hint to the game which angle you want it at. Again, as ever, as ever, No Man's Sky did this so well. Unfortunately, I'm not getting a ghost preview. Nope. I, su I suspect I'm dead. There you go. And then just two, two more. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. One hit, turn the wood into logs. Yes, I've got that. One. Yeah, well, that's it. That's the tree I'll spec down. Like, I'll spec all the way down the uh, resources tree. Oh, this is the, the, the axe doing it for me. What? It's got a chance to auto. Oh, no. It's, it's not every first hit, sorry. I mean, okay. I think it was just a, a slightly knackered tree. Probably. But yeah, Henry, if you now put one across the, the fourth wall. Yeah, give me a sec. Press the button, mm. then put the last bit down. They just sort of go, eh. To be fair, apart from the fact you ran into a bug, it, you can't fail this. It just goes, oh, you haven't succeeded it, and then you just do it again. I don't know what happened to when we, when it broke for me. Uh, give me a sec, actually. Da -da -da -da. I need a bed, there, don't I? Um, you do what? Bed. Oh, uh, well, you say that, but um, you've got two other people in the map, so they'll have to leave. Uh, I can quit and come back. I, I'm dead, so I don't count. Okay, I'm returning to count select now. Three other people. Okay. Two other people. One other. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I'm also doing the stuff. Why aren't you <sighs> build up there? I can build on the side there, but I can't build in front of me for some reason. So it goes left to right, and it's like, come on, just just bollocks. Yeah, yeah I can see your preview. Uh, well, I guess you could just build downwards from there. There we go. Hang on. Um... Right. Um...
Ah, I need to campfire, god damn it. <laughs> It's a bizarre restriction, the, the, the campfire thing for sleeping. I don't know. It, it thematically works, but it's a nonsense uh, restriction, really. Is it there yet? No, hang, hang on. Henry is, uh, you can always look at the stream, just saying. <sighs> there we go. It's now daytime. Oh. Do you want to turn? All you have to do now, you don't. You probably didn't need to get out. You just need to press the, the lever. I've not picked up the thing yet. Oh, okay. Follow mm. yep. oh, the leader, leader. You can all join now. Now, whether or not it makes it harder if you join, but I, I don't think they'll. Uh, the mobs will root fine. I think they spawn. You know, they spawn a couple of hundred yards away, but can't work out how to root find to the machine because we built it up. So do I want to drop this, then build the thing, and then run? You have to, yeah, right. use the thing, build the wall, and then just retreat to a safe distance. Well, to be honest, you probably didn't retreat to a safe distance at all. Right, when we did it last, they just did literally zero mob spawned. Run! Been quite oh, activate. Did you not activate it? <laughs> I deployed it. Right. Mm. Oh, wait, pumpkins have spawned inside your uh, fire. <laughs> This is noddy level game design, though. Make sure the player can <laughs> grief it. Because in Fortress Craft, people try and build a wall all the way around the base, and then they complain when that didn't work. It's like, what's well, a defense game? You just build a wall around your base, and the mobs go, oh, uh, I give up. That's not a thing. It's usually bash at the walls. Yeah, well, they bash at the walls, Well, that's what they do. And then people complain they dig through the walls. And I was like, well, you blocked it up. Don't do that. <laughs> There are a lot of survival mechanisms here, and then being able to revive teammates circumvents a lot of that. Well, certainly the speed you can revive teammates is a bit mad. What's the percentage? I can't see it. I'm dead. Twenty one. Sorry, twenty one. Twenty two percent. Twenty two. Twenty three. That's going up. Thirty percent. I noticed no mobs have spawned though. I don't think it spawned the first until about fifty percent. Oh, there, see, there's a. Oh no, that's a gazelle. Oh, sh chamois. Oh, you're about to get hit by the sun. Here it comes. Uh. It's, weird. it's weird the game puts so much uh, emphasis on your character's face and colour and everything and then you just put a helmet on for the whole game. Yeah. Mm. Like, that's that a tiny son. Well, see, that costs money. Like, that cost artist Effort. time. Yeah, I mean, that, mm. there's probably fifty to $100,000 worth of development and art time into the character faces you know it's not free and it just seems bizarre wasteful well i mean i found this working in studios before they spend a lot of time and a lot of money on features that barely anybody would uh, would notice like you know huge amounts of time and money but then you get to make a tick box yeah, but sometimes you don't. It's... Uh, is that a base of the blue dot, by the way? Uh, I think the blue dot uh, might be my ish. corpse. Uh. Uh, yeah, it looks like your corpse, yeah. Yeah, this, is, this totally works 100%, doesn't it? 75%? Well, this totally works 75%. Yep. I mean, hmm. 
but it's like it's like the ember game yesterday the, the rewards for the missions are not commensurate with the difficulty of the levels at all no and in this case this, i mean this is a four hour well this is not this is a i mean henry so henry afk'd but even so he's done this mission in 90 minutes including mm. starting the mission and then going and playing another game or eating or buying cakes and even so, that's 75R in 90 minutes, whereas the other level gave us 200R for about three days of play. Yeah. Like, either this should be no, 10... Like this. Yeah, this should be 10R, or the other mission should be 1,000R. Either which is balanced, but not what we've got. Yeah. Are you ready to be risen from the dead? Yes, please. Thank you. I am alive! Right. Okay, that's it. Back off up to space now. Race you to space! Uh, deploy uplink transmitter near crate. Just leave. So you'll be looking really I'll fast what that is. We're done. I've got two more dots. Does, does it say online. mission uh, complete? It's a bug. No. What's the top thing? What's the, the top one? Uh, on the left hand side, what's yeah. the first thing it says? What's the first mission complete? Mission complete. Uh, right, moving on. Well, okay, but it says down the bottom. The yeah, yep. yep. ignore them. I'm, I'm, yep. oh, okay. And it says mission complete, so you can safely ignore That's... all the. Fine, fine. I got that yesterday. Back to my I mean, ship now. Yeah, me too. Yeah. That's weird because mission complete is first level, then the last three are on second level, and then there are level 3 things that don't have a corresponding level 2 thing. Yeah, the, the, the tab order's a bit wrong. I hope I make it back, by the way, because I did get a little bit are those, bared. Hmm? Are those other uncompleted boxes optional mission? No, no, it's, it's a bug. Nope. It's just a bug. It oh, says, right. so says they, if, they're done on yours. If it's no, it's not. No. I've got nearly all of them, but not all of them. Even though I was actually here for those. As long as it says at the top mission complete, everything else is irrelevant. So I've got all of them highlighted. Yeah, you can now just fuck off, and it will go. Brilliant. Here's your reward. Yeah, we tested this last time because um, essentially when you get back to your spaceship in the top right, it will say mission complete. Um, I can't move. Have you crashed, Henry? No, I don't think so. Oh, God. Um, I'm still moving. No, I can't. I can't move. I can't jump. I can't duck. I can... um, am I in a tree? Like, if I move, I'm walking on the spot, but not actually going anywhere. Um, my axe. Oh, shit. I just think I dropped my axe on the floor. I'm coming to you. My fancy axe. Where is it? Oh, I think I might be inside this tree here. Oh, oh I've crashed. That was strange. Unreal Engine crash. Wow. Uh, well, that should be all right, though. I'm amazed this doesn't have migrating hosts. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I hope I get my axe back, or I'm going to be uh, annoyed. Oh, no, I'm afraid I lost connection to host. Yep, yeah, yeah. I've crashed. Yeah, Henry just crashed. <laughs> yeah. I am hosting, or I will be hosting very imminently. I wonder what happens if, and let's not try it, we but two of us hit host almost simultaneously. Uh, mine says it's done the it's not on a prospect. I am What did you say? I'm now preparing geometry. I'm joining. I can claim my reward, so I'm claiming it. Oh. Nice. Oh, good. My, my, uh, I'm no longer stuck, and my axe is back in my inventory. I should go back good. running along and eating berries. 
<laughs> now my missions are even more buggered up. So now it doesn't list all of the first parts of the missions, just the last bit. Uh, unfortunately, Esmia has stopped responding. So I was planning on going into her level and helping her because obviously um, she managed yeah. to die due, due to our fault to a great degree. But uh, you know, but um, I need her to be online and hosting so we can uh, wade in. Join, yeah. Unfortunately, Blood Rose is set to busy, so I can't even ping her. Can you imagine just sprinting through a forest and literally grabbing up every bush into your arms just without even slowing down? <laughs> well, also, I've got it bound to mouse four. So I, don't, I found pressing F quite uh, painful after a while. Yes, no, I've got, I've got, I've got it on triangle. Uh, triangle, got it on Y. Oh so, yeah, it's just easy just to sort of keep that held Mash down. Mash the button. Yeah. So we have two options, by the way. We can progress deeper down the the polar tree, if Esmir isn't online in about the next five minutes, or we can begin to go down the sand tree. So the next biome, there are two biomes coming up one's a sand biome one's a polar biome now i have a sneaky suspicion the sand biome will be very similar to the polar biome only we will have to make cooling things of some description yeah. as opposed to heating things of some description but i i think it might be worth having a look just because um obviously it will visually look different and it's cold and visible here so you know, mm. that might be nicer to uh, pretend that it's sunny. So the issue yeah. is that the polar bears or sandworms are cooler? Well, they'll definitely be warmer. See what I did there? Kind of. I made a joke. You don't think that sandworms are hot? Oh, yeah. Hot sandworms in your area. Now, before you leave, make sure you take all your exotics and put it back in the dropship. Right, there are no screams of, oh shit, so hopefully everyone has remembered. Oh. You can but hope. Okay, who else is in the, the mission right now? Is it just Henry? I am near the rockets. Okay, I won't leave because I'm hosting. Yeah. Uh, my good. I'm on my way. If you want to go and do stuff, I'm... I'm... Not yeah, necessarily going to be quick, but, but it'll, it'll kick them leaves, then yeah, yeah. I mean, shocker. I mean, I can always create my own, so it's not a problem. Yeah, but then you got to go back out and it'll load. Mm. But I'll just watch Shaka take off without any pre-flight checks or health and safety <laughs> debriefing. <sighs> debriefing or briefing? I don't know. Not even that. He's like, hey. It's not even like, hey, is anyone near my space? Just off. <laughs> Ears blasted off. It works. Can I arrow her safely? Sorry? I made it. It's showing me again all the prospects. You have to del oh, like all the ones in the top left, the little sort of uh, cards with little bl orange circles that are filled in and not filled in. Top right? What do you mean? I like, think those are just some of them. I get about five or seven pop-ups, but I only have three things on the prospect. Right, but have you deleted? Yeah. So the pop, the the, the pop-ups you get are completed missions you just delete the uh, message that's just the email i've noticed some of those not deleting i think i've got four that just will not go away Amazing. but they go, i can't i can't read the message so it's a bit sort of like wtf well try deleting the ones you can at least yeah like well, i do but nothing's there
Oh, God, I got two XP for something. I picked up some fruit. It's really Hello. hard to travel anywhere in this game without just scoffing and picking up everything en route, isn't it? Yeah. Even when yep. the mission is go here, click on anything and run back, you're like, well, I'm just going to collect all these, just in case these are nice rocks. These are. I might need these rocks. Ow. You know what, grabbing these berries has never hurt anyone. I've got 64 berries. I do not need any more berries. I picked up enough berries to last for a very long I, time. I had a very long time. Wow. I had um, I had about five stacks on me at one point. I was like, why? Why do I have all these? <laughs> Brain dangle from a fall. Drop, tuck, and roll. That's yours. Oh, who's taking off? No. There who's goes. in front of me? DJ. Huh? Wait, oh, what? No, not me. I'm just standing by the. I'm standing by my ship. Yeah. I think Malcolm. No, I, I, I. Do you lose vaccines when you use them? Vaccines? There are consumables that are like. Take a premium of the. Uh, I, and I assume you use them once and they go away at the end of the mission. Um, Henry, this is my ship. You can fucking yes. do one. <laughs> so yes. I so, am doing uh, one. As I mentioned, so the new government advice is it's based on American medical advice, which is watch one, do one, teach one. <laughs> and it, it's to What's do that with mean? well, it's to do with um, if you are before you do a medical procedure, the first thing you should do is watch somebody else do it. Then you should do the procedure yourself, and then you should teach others how to do it. Which is fine. This is an, um, sort of a, a mantra amongst nurses and um, doctors. And think, oh, yeah, that's all cool. And in the UK, they're doing it to deal with children um, doing uh, uh, t uh, COVID tests. Which is fine. And, but they're using the same American phrase. And the middle part is do one. And it's like in the UK that that does not mean fucking do one. Yeah, it's like you fucking do one, mate. Go on, jog on, sing your hook. <laughs> it's not it's not a rude thing, but like I, I've never heard. It's quite good though. Show one, do one, teach one. Great. In America, not in the UK, but we've adopted this no. one. What was it? Stay home, stay safe, save lives, or something. Protect the NHS. I forgot what it was. Uh, what was the? Yeah, it's been so. It's been so many of them. They, they did one that was quite good. And I can't remember what it was now. Like, after about a year... Ted, will you get in your spaceship? For what, if you're happy and you know it, wash your hands. No. It I was... am, I'm out. <laughs> well, no, I can see your spaceship. There's still a spaceship here. Um, Don't know who that is, but I'm out. And I discovered today, and I, I don't know sorry. how I've not heard about this before, but these 3D printable nose clip things for masks, which mean that your glasses don't steam up. They're, they're brilliant. Oh, yeah. I was like, how 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 did I not realise this? It's very simple. You just bend it around. You just bend it like whenever I get a mask, I fold it literally fold it in half because that nose pin, and then about yeah, centimetres yeah. further away from that, I then bend them back out again. All the masks I have don't have anything, any clips or anything in them at all. Like Mine no doesn't. metal. Yeah. So you, they always have metal, little metal strip across no. the nose. No, You're, you've got yeah. the the kind of the med no, the, you've got the kind of the medical masks. That's not all masks. Well, the other ones are tighter fitting than that. Yeah, but obviously, Malcolm, ones, Malcolm is obviously talking about yeah. something that's that's plastic, and this is very made. fancy. <laughs> okay, that's what it like. so I have a hunt. Well, it is. He's talking about three D printing it. Yeah. I've never used a homemade mask. It's just a bit of material across your face. Oh God, no! It's no. not a homemade mask. So you, okay. you're talking about so those medical on. masks which have the little metal bit in them. I'm not yeah. talking about those. I'm talking like like a cloth mask, like a fabric mask that doesn't have anything hard in it. You can 3D print a little thing that goes on your nose and clips to the mask, which holds it around your nose, which means that then you don't get uh, condensation on your glasses when you exhale. They're great. And all that COVID and I... just breathing out everywhere. Well, no, I mean, the point is that it's not coming out. It's like even fancy masks, they're, your face. they're letting the oxygen in and out. The point is mm. that the air that goes through a mask is not coming out of your face at 80 miles an hour. It's coming out of your face at two miles an hour. Goes nowhere, drops 80, 80 miles an hour. Well, I mean, if you sneeze in a mask, <laughs> it comes out. Yeah. 
I can't, I can't remember how fast these But it's, are. It's, it's deflecting. The mask deflects it basically backwards and a lot on you. But the thing is, if you have a... If, like, it's deflecting it downwards instead of up and then steaming up glasses. Yeah. Yes. That's the whole point. This so, thing that I've really printed, which is very good. Coughs are 50 miles an hour and sneezes are 100 miles an hour. Ooh. So... You could repurpose the metro reminder to remind people of social distancing. Mind the gap. So... Here are our choices. So we can start to unlock the desert area, but that is a three skull mission, and we've never done a three skull mission. Or we can do. What's the nice one? Oh, two. Or we can do deep vein extraction, which will give us the ability uh, for manual exotic mining. Now, this is a one day mission, so it's probably quite quick. So, my vote, and you may obviously weigh in, is to do deep vein extraction which is easier and quicker and unlocks a way of gaining exotics. Exotics. Yeah, agreed. Why not? They think yep. they've got a lead on some exotics. And the Legos yep, 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 yep. I'm claiming prospect. Time to see what you can dig up. What do you say? No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so I can leave. I can't. Yeah, I could leave yeah. the bandit and come back in. Yeah. Thank goodness you don't have to pay for you know the fuel. Because <laughs> there's uh, that game, uh, hardship, uh, hard space shipbreakers, where basically you start off with like a thirty-five billion dollar debt. Because that's that's how much you have to pay Ouch. to get into the business. Yeah. And the the idea is that you you, you probably never actually uh, get your money back. The keyboard in this laptop, mm. in this screen, doesn't have the Z row. You look on the left and you're landing. Look at the post-it notes in the little... There's yes. loads of post-it notes around there. Yeah. Yes, don't forget the radar. Yeah. Oh. And something about the 12th of March. Frame rate. Oh my word, that's... Mo okay, so that's off in the snow area, isn't it? Thank you, pretend man. Well, uh, should we start with a micro base here? I'll, I'll make a micro house. Could could you guys explore towards the rock, and then we'll get the lay of the land. I'm not. I think we're just a bit towards the side of the triangle. Triangle lake. It's half past nine. I assume in the morning, but I don't know. It is. Try not to come back empty-handed. Yeah, fuck off, pretend man. <laughs> yeah, so if we can just uh, explore the area a little bit. You should probably know exactly where we are because this is the same area we just did the last mission at. But I have a sneaky suspicion the exotic mining is in the in the cold area. I don't know this, but that's just how I feel from my, my, my glance at the map. Sorry, which way do you want us to explore? Towards the target. So towards, uh, um, yeah, towards... Red. red. M. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, Eternals, by the way, it wasn't bad. No. The problem with oh. it, there were way too many characters in it. And I'm like, oh, cool. Just, okay. <laughs> okay. And it's, uh, is, are they, are they dead? Are they, oh, they died. What, what, what was her power again? Yeah. <laughs> it, was just, it was just weird. All the actors are good actors, I think. Well, most of them are anyway, in their own right on TV shows that I've seen them from or films I've seen them in before. Not really in that TV, in that film. Yes, I don't think the writing was... Um... <clears throat> no, apparently, had, I mean, you notice this, had five writers. Five? Well, wow. it, the thing is, it was also done quite a long time ago. 
uh, like pre-COVID. Like, oh. J John, when did John tell us? I think it was Christmas before last. Well John, back, John yeah. was telling us that, that, how, that Angelina Jolie is really nice in person. Hmm. Um, and after a little bit, when uh, that other guy adopted um, Angelina Jolie, I thought that was a bit ironic. <laughs> but yeah, it was just too short and too much. Short? To cram it was too much to cram in to th for the time scale of the film. Yeah. Yes. Correct. That I'd agree with. I'm going to say it felt like quite a long film. <laughs> Uh, but they were the problem was they were kind of endlessly at pains to explain why they didn't turn up in the Thanos war, and that's going to be a problem with anything inside the MCU. Going, oh, we didn't help because. Uh... Well, the only reference to it was yeah, something, something, click, something, something. Oh, we that was it. No, it's like oh, we don't. No, no, no. They made a, they made quite a big deal out of it. So what attention you were paying, and we don't help that. We only help the. We only fight against yeah. the whatever it was the insurrectionists. I've got the name of the things. Uh, Twisted? No. No, I know what you mean. I'm trying to think what they are, though. The bad guys in the film you watched literally today. Brilliant. Yeah, about an hour ago. Um, Not the Eternals, that's the good guys, yeah. apparently. The Externals. We have a house. It's not very good. I will carry on making it better. These controls are shit. Just to be clear, we need doorways and doors in them, right? Yeah. Yes. Ugh. Ugh. Effort. Perfectionist, I know. Just, just picky, man. It's just, just sheer yeah. hit pickiness. Anyway, we have a house now. It's got doorways and everything. All the doorways. Windows. Mm, it's got doorways, and they're technically a window, aren't they? No. Is the outside through? Does it run windows? And I've made a three by three house. Um, My windows don't run windows. So you can't. Oh, with the hammer, you can't change the type of something, can you? Uh, change the type? You mean upgrade it? No, no, you can change it from a normal wall to a window wall. You have to demolish it and rebuild I think it. You might be able to demolish it with Y. I'm not sure if you can do that. Yeah. You probably demolish it with Y and then re then you get the item back and you can remake it with a... Yeah. But you have to have something to craft with to be able to demolish it, which is a bit weird in my opinion. Yes. Sorry, I'm confused. You not early to... access. You have to have a tool. You can't do it with no tools. Oh yeah, you gotta have a hammer. Yeah. I'm not sure that's what no. you meant. Do you mean you have, have to have a wall? Yeah, you have to have, have another have construction yeah. piece ready yeah. to deploy to be able to demolish something. I got you. Yeah. Although I found that out the other day, yeah, that's weird. I mean, if it helps, you've actually confused me more. So yep. you can't demolish an item unless you have, an item say, a, a wall currently selected or a floor or something to then be able to a buildable piece yeah hello dora right so if i craft a wall i have a wall in my inventory and i'd like to convert this from a wall into a window with my hammer <laughs> that thing it's not a thing is it so i think if you go to Oh crap! Pick up, yeah, I think I'm not sure. Pick up the hammer, aim at the wall, and press Y. Go that way. It disappears. Yeah, into your venture, into your venture, right? Yeah. I guess that's good. Um, it appears that I can just press Y even while I have a bit, even while I have a uh, a wall open there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. But you can, but if you don't have a wall equipped to deploy, you can't gotcha. demolish the wall. Why is my house falling to bits? Uh, sorry. What did you do? Drop a tree on it? Yes. Okay, fair enough. 
Not really sure. Oh no, yes. that's really done. <laughs> mm. I was trying to fix it. So, oh, wait, there's wait. no We're disadvantage. Only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Like, as far as I know, and please correct if I'm wrong, windows confer exactly the same protection in all respects as normal walls, right? Yeah, Windows Defender. They have the same health, they have the same strength, they have magic fucking, I don't know, force field glass or something. Gregory matching that friendly fire both fire goes through the window. True, but um, we've already issued, obviously, you know, the Geneva, Geneva Convention bans on that. Uh, interestingly, who's... Okay, wow, it took a long time to transmit the map to me. I've just been sitting staring at the map. So it could be we have to head southwest. I don't know. Well, I'm hiding out for us. So yeah, uh, Microsoft kicked me off their store uh, because I had taken too long to release a game. So I had to go, wow. can you can you fix it? They go, well, you have to maintain an active presence in the store. I'm like, right, okay, but I've only just been given access to the SDKs. So you have not, I have 90 days now to get something up on the store or they'll kick me off again. But like, it might take me that long just to work out how to put something on the Xbox. It's a bit, it's a bit of a weird... Uh, sort of restriction they've got going on. Yeah. They're very nice. I'm just like, oh, you must maintain an active presence. No, I can't. So Thursday, I should... Are they talking about your team's status? No, my Microsoft partner developer partner status. <laughs> um, I've now had to create an Azure tenancy. I'm like, all right. I want to respond with, all right, what's that then? But I've just gone with, okay, that's what, what's what you've renamed something to. But I've Googled. How Tenancy to... is basically a, it's, it sounds to me like the actual, as your cloud. I don't have space, any cloud basically. anything. I don't have any. Well, maybe I have to for that's where they deliver my games from. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. But um, the weird thing was, if you Google like how to create an Azure tenancy, it's just like log onto your company's portal. Like, right, okay. And that's <laughs> all of the help, the help I can get. It's just, just talking about my company's portal. I like that. It's your dot something dot something. And then um, your account tenancy, which is bound to your account. And then I guess do something on it. I don't know. I mean, you're already involved. Like you, well, no, all I'm doing is now the problem was that it said, go here, click on this, then click on this and click on your tenancy. But I couldn't because um i was not banned from the microsoft store that's a little bit dramatic um i could do some leather by the way to uh, build some oh we have some leather brilliant thank you Yoink. um so i was um, unable to progress because of uh because of that wait can i just pick up a bunch of leather nope all right you were doing the same thing Uh, it's back in the in, in there. Because I make an oxide dissolver. Yeah, I was basically going to do exactly that. So go for it. Is that the good one or the shit one? Oh, we need both. Good one. Uh, I mean, I'm boom. kind of exploring and killing animals. I've got a load of bone. Yeah, load of, in the, um, uh, bones in there. Well, there's a 50 50 chance, of course, you guys are going in the wrong direction, but there's only yeah. one way to find out, which is to. There's bone in there now, DJ. Oh, yes. Uh, I like some bone in there. Uh, oxide dissolver. Uh, no, Tad, I can't. It is an Xbox game, so I've never... I'm going to be releasing No Man's, so that's the plan. Stone. Uh, wait a second, DJ. Hmm? Oh, wait. Maybe for one of them. Oh. Actually, I think you're okay. Let's put more, more boxes down just so we can unload shite into it. There's some bone in there, but I'll tell you one. 
So I've just put my fancy oxygen tank in there. Can you guys see that? Could you please oh, don't? nick my fancy yeah, someone, oxygen? Someone, someone could nick it, yeah. Motherfuckers. I'll just come back and bring a load of leather and, uh, and uh, bone with me, or you're all right for now. Uh, we're all right for the moment. Okay. I mean, mostly we could do with someone heading southwest. Um, I can see DJ Arcus and Psy on the map, and everybody else is just, there's nothing there. Ask me to head back anyway, because the showers. This oxygen, I think, is going to be... Uh, it's like, it's like Schalke's going the right way, to be fair. Or at least a way, which yeah, could be... But he might not be. It might be southwest we have to head, not northeast. And we don't know how we're going to get there. Like, it could even be we have to go through a cave. <gasps> Who knows? This was two skulls difficulty? Yes, same as the last one. But it may also be what we want to do is set up another base where you are. It might be that this level uh, is That's what I'm safe. wondering. Yeah, but it might even be just we just sort of belt straight through. Given it's a five it's a it's a much shorter mission. And a lot some of more leather and fur and stuff in that central thing. Charles. Wow, my, it's because you're exploring. My, my, get, my computer is continually generating and transmitting you stuff on the main thread. It's like Astroneer, same thing. You, you, Unreal base game generated everything on the main thread. So when a network player walks into a new area, the host stutters a bit as it um, has to generate it. Building, yeah. Wow, this... Oxygen tank is still filling, by the way. Yep. <laughs> ah. Yoink. Don't nick my oxygen tank. That's a good point, though. If he nicks your oxygen tank, could he then take put it, like, take it out with him? I think it's then his. I would assume so, yes. Yeah. If you can, if you can nick it off him. So you wait for the opportunity and you nick it back. If you... Kill me? Uh, Henry, I've seen you bedding him. I just have to warn the ram behind you for a little while and you'll just end up committing suicide by bear. Yeah, probably. Wow. Yeah, 30 frames a second now. The problem is... At this point, there's very little I can upgrade my computer to. Like, for this, you want something with an even higher single-threaded um, performance. But there's not a lot. I mean, I, I you know, there's, there's, there are some, obviously. But there's not a, not a vast amount of uh, choice out there. And it's yeah. rather rubbish that games are still made with, oh, yeah, just upgrade your PC. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, I would, but, but for what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Some supercomputer, but it's not multi-threaded. Yeah, I mean that, that's the problem with a lot of games; they're not written particularly multi-threaded, which is weird because we had to heavily focus on multi-threading in the PlayStation Two era. Era, like you had yeah. to, you could not ship a game that was um, single-threaded. I mean, it just it just wasn't a thing. Well, yeah. it it might have been, but those are the ones that were you know awful. It's a bit hard to blame the console to be have better hardware. Yes, well, which is why you didn't. Obviously, in, in, on a console, you had to do it better. There was no no concept that I'll just get a better one. And I'm, I've no doubt there were a bunch of single-threaded PlayStation 2 games, but they were the ones that were awful, yeah, reviewed badly. Why is my guy breathing? Oh, because I'm mildly exposed. Her, her, her. I don't know how the hell I put this wood beam. Ah, oh, maybe I can chop this one down with a hammer. Who else needs a bladder? Hey. Uh, oh, bladder for water or for air? Oxed. Well, either. Uh, I'd like an oxygen one, please. I've got a water, a decent water one I bought. 
supports in the uh, corners of the walls make it look nicer. So Shaka is running around in the black on my screen because my host, oh, my map that. hasn't updated. Oh, there we go. Wow, that's <laughs> taken ages. I know it's mine. If you stay on the map for quite a while, it will. Um, I don't think I've got any leather and uh, I don't kill animals. I, I try. <laughs> But I don't. <sighs> I'm gonna go kill something then. Well, that was a uh, size area of expertise. In game. <laughs> In game. Yeah, well, <laughs> I thought you'd specialise or something. So it'd be yeah, he has. But he's, 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 not, that. But he's not very close to us at the moment. Uh, I've got a lot of that stuff. I mean, I can come. I can come back. Shark is gonna find out. But Shark is. I think Shark is heading in the right direction. So is Shaka fucking around so he can find out? I'm making... I'm making an outpost. Nice. I'm looking for some more sulfur so I can make... There's some in the middle of the island. I think. I kind of feel like I should set up a little farm, but like, you generally don't really need that much food. Yeah. Well, what are you doing? Oh, how did you knock on the floor? I, I, I wish I didn't understand why cats did that. I, I think it's a dominance thing. So you just look at me, then knock something on the floor, then look at me again. I'm like, am I supposed to be impressed or, or angry? Sort of. Put me through your thought process here, Dora. Yeah, she doesn't really do that. She just stares at me intently in a kind of a what you're gonna do. I'm like, oh, no, I'll, put it, I'll pick it back up again, maybe. That's why we don't have any expensive wine glasses in the house. Yeah, they're the cheap, nasty ones. That and don't drink. Uh, uh, it's mostly the cat. I mean, I have Wait, my. So, so, so the cat's stopping you from being an alcoholic? No, no, the cat. Well, well, no, I, I usually I drink, you know, my Ribena from the. Uh, Ooh, sweet corn. You drink right. your Ribena from the sweet corn? I got distracted. We've got sweet corn. Yeah, I'm pulling it up. It's really finicky, actually. It's really hard to get a good bead on it. Just hold F or whatever. It just, you don't let yeah, go of it. Yeah, the outline's really sort of... And then like, just... You have to be super precise with the outline for some reason. Yeah, but well, I mean, if you hold F, then you just kind of swoosh past it. It yeah. will just it will do it. But yeah, the, the, the collision box on the corn seems... Uh... Oh my god, I've got like a hundred corn! More corn! So, are they, are, even though the levels take place physically in the same area, are they supposed to take place over a longer period of time? Hence why um, corn suddenly grown. We had corn in the previous one, it's just... Really? Wasn't very. I yeah. Think, I've never seen any corn. That's my first corn I've ever seen. Holy shit, it's a bear! Uh. Wow. I really should have been paying more attention, I guess. Where are you? No, that was a joke. Right. The joke was I wasn't a bear. But no, I've definitely never seen any, um, uh, any corn. Boiled meat, my favourite. Mm. Oh, I well, like this. So the campfire is full. So when a piece of meat finishes cooking, it just drops on the floor next to it. <laughs> the weird thing is, so you can sort of automate it in that sense.
Well, I've got a lot of clothing up a lot of space, that corn, doesn't it? Well, Do you I cook it in the, uh, f the art fire? I assume so. This, it's, uh, hmm. And we can really do with a fire pit. Oh, I don't know how we make yes. Uh, I've got that. Yeah, you're right, Adam. It's the snowy area. We're now back to where we were, where our previous base was. Yes, I am. I mean, that's okay. I mean, obviously, we, we haven't done anything of note here, so we can always just pick up our resor our food resources and uh, mosey on over. Oh, yeah, I recognise where you are now. Yeah. You reckon we should do that then? Fill up on oxygen, grab anything from the... Um... Have you guys need a bladder? Please. Oh, I, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure if we need to get to into the snowy up. area yet. Yeah, but what we should do is, is set up over there rather than set up over here. Yeah. I'm hoping a fire pit takes not much space in my inventory. Um, it's possible. Right, so I've got berries, food and water, so we're going to head over to... I'll put a marker. Oh, there's a bear. So we're going, to head over, we're going to head over to the red marker, which is pretty much where we made our base before. Um, so if there's anything that's slightly awkward to replace please bring with you um but oh, sit and wait for the meat and come back for yeah. you guys later uh please please okay yeah max will bring the meat uh, bah, 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 bah. Um, where's the butter Louis henry uh in the oxygen thing ah brilliant thank you um so again most Easy game development is single-threaded. Multi-threading requires planning on handoff of data between uh, systems. But you can just kind of idiot sit down and write a single-threaded game. Air down. Um, Unity is spectacularly bad at doing multi-threading out of the box. And most devs can't be bothered to implement it. This is an Unreal game. Unreal is equally atrocious at doing things in a thread. And the development team for this game have done a fairly piss poor job of uh, of doing that. So the main problem is that the server runs on the main thread. So as I as Shalka runs around and explores more map, I get the brunt of it. So I'm generating the map and transmitting it to him, which is awful. Um, and I, that means that I, I am on a, I am not on a low end computer here. And you can look at all my cores, and I think we can spot the one, it's this one, that the game's running on. Now the game will have a little bit of networking, a little, uh, networking probably runs on a thread, it will have a little bit of threading, but it is a little bit of threading. Which is so annoying for a game written in 2022. This is... The sort of thing that has been solved through the .NET API for many, many years. Oh, UE4, sorry, not UE5. I wish it was UE5. But, like, .NET has solved this all. You've got concurrent queues, concurrent lists, um, lockable objects. It's not, that, it's not that hard to write even a clumsy threaded system with tons and tons of locking that's a bit slow but still much faster than sticking it all on the main thread. But it's easy to put stuff all on the main thread. That's, that's the problem. And, and the other thing is you, you kind of start by putting one thing on the thread, and it's fine, and then another thing and another thing. So they've put the trees falling over on the main thread, and the meat rotting, and the deer moving. And that's all fine. But then when you also put on the generation of the rock graphics, suddenly that starts to get slow. And then you put more and more things on the main thread until really slows down so i'm running at 36 frames a second now and i run at well over 100 when i'm not hosting this is ridiculous and the game does not have yeah. any dedicated server options which again is ridiculous i have spare computers lying around not doing anything i can run the server on but they haven't offered a dedicated server which for a game that could only be played online and only be played multiplayer it's a little bit of a batshit decision. Please note, not early access. <laughs> oh dear. 
Right, coming. Uh, got food. Not fooling anyone, are they? Whereas with my games, wherever possible, I try to shove everything out on a thread that I can. Um, so, for instance, in here, the game casts rays out into the world to decide whether or not you are exposed. I bet you that's on the main thread. But you have to put yeah. everything off the main thread you can, rather than by default shoving on the main thread because then you have the issue that some poor programmer has to spend six months <laughs> undoing it all mm. why am i so exposed i find uh threading at the uh difficult at the best of times well i mean the thing is now i write stuff threaded as as the default but yeah. in any simulation, you just take on a thread. The hard part is then persuading Unity to render that stuff. That is a pain in the ass. But I have solved this issue before, and um, I would you know, solve it again. But as long as you start by putting as much stuff off thread, off main thread as you can, you're fine. It's easy. I've got no concept of even how to start thinking about that. The way to think about it is, so when you update a game, right now, at the beginning of every single frame, this game will go through every tree in the world and say, has the tree grown? It'll go through every bush and say, has it grown? It'll go through every animal and it will make a decision. It will go through every moving rock, every waving blade of grass. It will, it will proceed to iterate over every single thing that exists in the world, every single frame. But with a lot of stuff, you don't need to do that. So um, we'll take a, a bush, you know, a bush grows, you know, and then it, then it has seeds that are ready. But that bit can go on a thread. The hard part, all you need to do is on the main thread, you have an object that's a bush and it is told when it's ready. And then something off on a thread will run off all the bushes and then just tell the bushes on the main thread that they're done. So this means that all the complicated, uh, complicated simulation work happens off main thread. And the main thread, all, all it does, literally all it does, is um, render it because that, that's a little bit harder to thread out. But if you take that approach, when you have um, added your hundredth um, system, they're all running on different threads. It's the beginning of a frame, you start up all the threads, you do all the main thread work, and then you collate the results back from all the, all the threads. And um, you have a game that runs wonderfully. No Man's Sky is the best example. If you look at No Man's Sky, when you are warping, it uses 100% of your CPU, no matter what your computer. So my one absolutely sings in No Man's Sky. I've got 16 core computer, or 16 thread, 8 core rather. So that is because they've written it correctly. And uh, uh, Griff, the guy that's sort of responsible for that, he's a bit like me. He's just mildly obsessed with performance and getting the most out of your computer Raw. but like this game think think of it as gears so this game is a car and it can't get out first gear no man's sky is a is a car with 16 gears so although the engine's exactly the same it can go a lot faster because it has gears and i apologize that all my similes end up in um car metaphors I, I am a game dev, yes. To be fair, this is not a game relate a game thing. Uh, I mean, I find a lot of applications are very poorly multi-threaded. Um, the reason game dev salaries are low is because it's a cool um, job, so they can get away with paying less. Uh, there is a a huge number of people who want to get into the games industry. And some places I've worked, um, they will, they have a few um, old hands and they will continually pull in students at minimum wage. And 
they either burn out or become old devs and get more money. Um, quite often they burn out. At a climax, we got through so many students. I mean, I was a student, but you know, it was. Um, I took quite a large pay cut from uh, Airtel to go and work on game development because that's what I really wanted to do. And by the end of it, I was on fairly good wages. But if you know, that was after a decade. But if you were in um, an industry a decade, I was running many multi-million dollar projects by the end of it and in any other industry i'd have been on you know six figures upwards uh, but not in the games industry which is why when i went for that interview with ubisoft um if they were going to offer me the job i was probably going to go yeah because they're offering 50k to run the audio for a new ip um with about 400 people you know probably 25 million dollar project with you know hopeful estimated revenue of half a billion to two and a half billion and you're offering 50k which is sort of ma that's like manager or franchiser of a mcdonald's restaurant level of uh, wages not indirectly or indirectly responsible for potentially billions of dollars that's with a book so yeah, games industry very very strange that they don't um, they don't try and do better with their their wages because you lose a lot of devs into going doing banking software or financial software because the the money is so much higher. But that's all I've ever done. I've only ever written games. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how to do anything else. I could probably do it fine, but I I would I'd be thinking about games. And I'd just be bitching at everybody else on the team for writing slow code. You really <laughs> would. Well, but you'd, you'd do very well in industry because of the optimization side of things, I think. Well, you'd I, hate it. Well, maybe. I, I like optimization, but like in some cases, I mean, I, I know some people who work at Jaguar Land Rover on their systems, mm -hmm. and they, they optimize stuff. And a little optimization can save many, many thousands of pounds of computer time a day. So, yeah, they're very happy with performance optimizations. Um, Especially now, if you're going to onto Azure and things like that, it's all the the cloud. Yes. You're, you're talking about paying yes. less money to have the same things that you would run anyway. Well, this is one of the issues we have with, with Eden. Is that Ari wrote it like a complete prat. Um, so he was looking at soaking up some of the biggest um, AWS computers we could rent because he had not optimized his code properly. Um, Ouch. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I mentioned what well, there was one time. Um, a guy on my team, student, he, when you access a certain thing in the game, he loaded up a file that described how that thing worked. So you'd open a file on disk, read it into memory, parse it, and then close the file on the main thread, which is fine. You couldn't notice it. So on a hard drive, absolutely fine. No problems. You know, it's a <gasps> millisecond. That's fine. I leveled up. When you did that nice. exact same action on my the, level on the DVD that we were burning to ship the game, that on the other hand would lurch the whole thing to a halt for about half a second while it would seek, find the uh, position on the disc, load the file, and come back in. And it's that sort of thing. We, you know, we made him stick it on a thread in the end. Why did it need it need to read it from a file? Just so you didn't want it um, in memory. It was basically like... yeah, it was basically an any file just describing how to perform some actions. And also on a PlayStation, mm. memory is limited. If it's something yeah, you need yeah. briefly, you know, you uh, you just pull it in and chuck it. But yeah, uh, it, this is the other thing. One of the slowest things yeah. you can do is to I, I am one of the slowest things you can do is to allocate RAM. No matter the platform. Um, did we actually start a house, by the way? I should have built it just in the same place as last time. Come to me. Can you um, put a oh. marker down for me? Come to blue. Blue. Right, I've got these wolves there. Right. Throw a wolf on the route, so I killed it. But yeah, I love optimising. It's one of my favourite things to do. I, uh, I've always liked it. Um, partly because you know, so, so that was one of the things on Burnout is we, we optimised until... We optimised until when the game was running, all the fans were really loud on the PlayStation because it was desperately trying to cool itself. <laughs> it's always the mark of a good game. Spider-Man, your PlayStation sounds like a f little jet engine trying to take off. It's wonderful. 
And that means you know you're getting your money's worth. Oh god, who's that with the f Adam? Can you turn your let me? Can you turn your torch off? For some reason, it's giving me one FPS. Uh, and now this fire's doing it. I oh, know it's right. This there is my very basic house. Well, I found a bed. Cool. Ah, uh, it's dark. Why are you scared of the dark? Well, I am because I know what's in it. Remember, yeah, wolves and oh, random funny people. Malcolm. Remember though, no one's scared of the dark of being alone in the dark. You're only scared of not being alone in the dark. Follow me for more philosophy. Okay, stone and. I thought you brought. I thought you brought stuff with you. Um, I did, but not like I didn't bring like a workbench. Oh, okay. Oh. I did. I've got the oxygen dissolver and a fire pit. So bear in mind that means that if we did go, you, if anyone did you bring goes, the crafting bench? I, I'm making. A, I've made a crafting bench. Cool. This a bit who, small. Who, who can I see? It's the. Uh, oh, it's a little yeah. bit smaller than the other one. Yeah, I'll build a second floor. Fine. Oh, that's cold. I, I really would just build a bigger plan for the ground floor. I right, made a crafting bench. Um, shall we? Uh, can you lot all fuck off and come back again, please? So we can make tomorrow happen. Or you can run around in the dark. I don't mind if you it's want. My to. bed. Yeah, but it's my server, <laughs> so. Yeah, let me know when everyone's. Um... Yeah. I'm off. Everyone else is yep. bugged off. Yeah, off. back in. Okay. I hope they don't patch that particular. Uh... <laughs> yeah. How would you? Um, I mean, everyone in the game is obviously question. sleeping. Um, everyone else has genuinely left. I don't think you could patch it. Well, uh, give me a moment. I mean, one thing you could do is to make it more punishing to log off and log on. Um, yeah. Like, if it took you a minute to log off and log back on again, you're probably not going to do what we did, because it only takes about five seconds. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. It's, it's one of those that... Realistically, I've got too much corn. Realistically, um, it doesn't matter that people are doing that. But I think a better approach would just be to make it so you can effectively share a bed. Maybe not literally share the bed, but effectively. You need a bed and then people can, can sleep. So what we've got now, it's just a bit it's just a bit rubbish, really. You should be able to carry, instead of a, a rucks, uh, a rucks you should be able to make hammocks. Yeah, so I think there's a, there should be a cheaper... Uh, Maybe maybe the way to do it would be that the quality of the bed makes you more rested as you wake up or something weird like that or gives you an XP buff or something. So everyone can sleep. Yeah, but, but and you get an XP buff for sleeping overnight, but you don't get as good one for having a crap bed. The problem you've got is again, um, if the buff is irrelevant, it's an irrelevant solution. If the buff is like the debuff you get for not having slept is mean, you just all log off and skip time. Not a debuff, it'll be a buff. Oh, by the way. So you so it's a buff you actively want. But essentially yeah. it, you get debuff for not. But you can only you can only sleep at night, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's I think Valheim did a superb job on their hunger because you didn't lose anything for being hungry. You just got you gained stuff for not being hungry. So you've got the, um, when you ate enough food, your stamina bar got bigger. So instead of like this game, I'm like, I get loads of busts from the food. I don't know what they do. I don't care. Whereas in Valheim, it was like, oh, it was like, oh, oh, my stamina bar's bigger. Oh, brilliant. That's for you. And that, that worked a lot better in my mind. And that's the way I would do it from now on. I would definitely have a carrot rather than a stick. Okay, I'm making me some corn. There's some in the fireplace there if you want to... Oh, I've just crashed again. That's alright, you're not the host. Yep. Uh, oh my god, we've got like 300 corn. Okay, so... I did bring a lot, sorry. Corn only lasts for 800 seconds. As Chop. in... 
cooked corn lasts for 800 cooked seconds. Them. Right. Ch sorry, charred corn. <laughs> Grilled to perfection, depending on your standards. Right, wasn't there a it's cave? Uh, there is up here on the left somewhere. Yeah, let's get us. Let's get that tech. I'll come with you in a minute if I just finish chopping these trees up so we've got some wood for everyone. Oh, there's a if buffalo, we, um, buffalo here. He wants it. If we can get some uh, stone, we can make a furnace. I've got everything else, just need a load of stone. Okay, I'll do that secondary to this task. Well, to be fair, actually, Adam, are you going to go down to that cave? Because you'll just one shot that wall and give me all the stone in the world, uh, right? Yes, I can do that. I'm just trying to find the cave. I'll go overshot it. Yeah, let me crashed again. Dump a load of stuff on the wow. house. Sorry, what? You just crashed repeatedly. A AMD, well, I loved it in. AMD or NVIDIA? AMD. Mm. Mm. You crashed a couple of days ago, Adam. Not, not video card stuff, though. Just just generic rubbish programming. Issues. Yeah, this is uh, exception access violation reading address 0000006. Oh, so it's a no pointer issue. It, if, it should probably tell you what it was, though, if you poke. Um, do we have to... Why can't I skin this buffalo carcass? You need a better knife. I've got a good enough knife. Uh, oh, I you... see. That's what the chevron means. All right, fine. Use your teeth. Where's this cave? I'm sure there's one here oh, somewhere. I think you're going the wrong way. I've been all the way up to where it definitely isn't. Oh, yeah. It should... Oh, no, I ran past it, I think. Well... Yeah, I think it's around where red is. Maybe, maybe we're uh, apparently on white. No, it's yeah, not where, that, where the white one is. Definitely not that far back. White. Uh, maybe white, yeah. I brought back a corpse. The station skinning is better than knife, right? Uh, if you're uh, not me. Yeah. How much better is that? Please hold. <laughs> is it like 1% or 10% or... 25% meat, 15% bones, 20% um, leather, an extra 25% meat. If it's a baby animal, double it. Does that work? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, I just worked that out last one. I was quite amazed. Oh, I found the cave. Uh, fascinating, by the way. Apparently, someone has just found a security vulnerability in, the, in there. In the other one in the Tesla app, and has full remote control of their cars. Oh, that's fascinating. Uh oh, on the way to you, Adam. Plus. Oh, it's literally right next to us. Yeah. Uh, bear in mind that means full remote control, as in he can flash the lights, honk the horn, unlock it. Not he can drive them away. Well, he could do if he was yeah. there, but obviously he's he's likely to be thousands of miles away. But he says apparently it's um, it's not Tesla's fault; it's the owner's fault. So I don't know whether it's like default passwords or or what. Lack of two factor on uh, setup. There you go. Should be fine here now. Oh, wow. The corn. So... The oh, no, there's one more. So it says consumes one space in stomach. What does that mean? Those sort of slots. What you can you have two stomach slots, I think, yeah. What's the I think you can get oh, more. Just just all, That's the thing. Well, I don't know what any of you are talking about. I understand the concept of slots. What slots? Where? Buff slots. I don't know. Because I... Buff slots. So a food buff slot is a stomach slot. You think they'd That's have a, how I understand that. You think they'd have a different icon? Because right now I've got... Uh, I've got... Um, I've... Berries, bed, meat and corn. You do get, no, well, you do get a well no, rest of bonus, by the way, but it's, it's just a bit... Uh, hmm. like, imagine how much worse you'd be at doing all this if you actually hadn't slept last night. That's that's the, how the buff should be. Come on, Torch Boy. Come, have, that's it. Have your graphics uh, started working again in the uh, cave? Nope. 
So you still got full bright caves? Yep. That's amazing. I can't, yeah. I can't see. Yeah, you can't. Do you want some sticks or some, some uh, floor torches in there? Makes it much easier, I presume. Uh, not really, because yeah. it just makes it easy with someone holding it, because then I can chuck down ore yeah. and they can grab it. They're someone can put floor torches down and leave you alone, is what I mean. Um, no, because I'm only standing in one place for a few moments, and the, uh, the torches are not very good range, the floor torches. Right. Plus, of course, oh, well. in a moment, I'm about to hand off yeah, like, quite a lot of ore. I can just, I can just see everything. Okay, Malcolm. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. You got night vision or something? No. No, I've got night vision. It's got a bug. I think I've, I think I've just set the graphics on the shadow so low that it just goes. Yeah. What? <laughs> we just won't make it dark. I think. Oh, negative. I think that's. Also, make it negative. Yeah, maybe it's gone too far. It's going dark, 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 dark. Oh. No, it's more like Um It's it, pure daylight for me here. Adam. It's yeah. <laughs> it's so it's not as simple as the rock uh, ceiling is casting shadows. It's much more like it's accidentally not running the fog box within the shadow code. So it's not gone. You're in a dark area. Make it dark. It still thinks he's running around outside. Can I dump a, a load of iron. Any old iron. And you have any chip load? Any old, any old, any old iron, please. Um, if anybody nice wants to, to come, and yeah, help. yeah, more muling, the better. Oh no, I need to run, run away run. now with that. Why? Because I'm basically full on space. Ugh. Any old, any old, any old iron. Do you get more oxide as well, then? Do I get more oxide? Yeah, I get. Uh, I get some more, but then I have a buff. I can get even more oxide, but I don't bother. Even more oxide. So this thing, there are skills to buff stuff that aren't in short supply. Um, I could do with very soon uh, an iron pickaxe because I'm about to get my starter pickaxe. Um, Please put that at the top of your list, Kthooks. Okay. Um, one requires more stone, I think. Maybe? Maybe not. Uh, okay, I'm so no one's coming to help me in the cave. Yeah, I need more sto stone. Uh, is everyone else just working off doing their own thing? I'm on the map. No, I'm coming to... I'm coming to... Yeah, can you put a marker down for me? I'm on the map. I know you're on the map, but I keep stopping and checking. Cause I'm not put sure a I'm marker the right on me. Oh, I see this. Oh, there's a white one. Where's the white one, then? Doesn't matter. Put a marker on me. That's the easiest way. Okay. Teach him, sure. to, teach him how to fish all that. Just double click on me. There I'm you going go. past it the wrong way. Yes, you are. That's why I was... Uh, I'm so alone. So lonely. Yeah, I still need more stone um, to make a furnace to then be able to make a... Well, to smelt iron to then make a... Um, pickaxe. Iron pickaxe for you. Okay, well, I'm going to go and get the ore, which probably sounds very helpful. There's a couple of big stones just outside the base. The hut. Whoops. The hut hut. Yes. Not the jabber. Oh, oh it's Wednesday tomorrow. Star Wars day. Star Wars day. <laughs> no, I haven't seen any of that yet. That's great. Oh, the book of Boba Fett. Fairly minimal uh, story. Lots of Hollywood quality action scenes. I'm happy. Ah, red chip number two. Uh, uh, before we go yeah. anywhere, uh, if you just grab... Uh, that and this. Okay. Because uh, then I, I can pick up the most amount. Yep. Make it Probably half. So. Yeah. So we're only getting iron. Okay. I like it just merely being around max means I use up less oxygen. I love that they describe it as a car, car. He's got a buff. It's a buff. A nearby team members consuming us oxygen. Ah, yeah. Hold on. Amazing. I need to get a little bit of wood. Oh, I've got wood. All go. right. It means Ooh. a game. And sticks. Oh, my frame rate. I've also got lung disease. Oh, you'll be alright. Well, thanks. Adam, I was thinking about this yesterday. What, um, 
what Ember needs, I think, or what Ember could use, is the ability for people to specialize. Uh, so yeah. you start off, Remember, yeah, to yeah. make it actually useful for a team game. Like, oh my god, there's a wall here I can't break down or something. Can someone with that ability come and access it? Oh, there's a fire there, but we need to put it out and it's quite far range. I, so, you know. I think Ember is one of those games, it's it's just two steps away from greatness. I think you've got a good solid core yeah. and just kind of drop the ball on a whole bunch of things. I say, if we had, like, you, the fire continually oh, dark, progresses, but then we had to, like, set up hoses to keep bits of it wet so then you can go into areas and stuff like that. Whereas it yeah. was, it was just, it was a bit too silly and arcadey, which is a shame, because Max was like, let's put the fire out, but it's like, yeah, that's, that's, that's not really this game. Which is a shame, because I would probably have enjoyed, I mean, I did suggest we play Viscera Cleanup the whole Detail. Because, say, if you like putting the fires out, that's Viscera Cleanup Detail. It is, yeah. It's just a very relaxing... Well, some of the levels are put the gas out. What, or in... push the gas out. In yeah. the same game. Yeah, but as I said, Viscera Cleanup Detail, it, it took the same sort of thing a lot more seriously. And it's good fun multiplayer. Like, it's... Um... Yeah. It's not more enjoyable. Sometimes you end up making more mess with each other if you're not careful. Yes. Just be very sort of specific. Oh, look, look. oh yeah, great way of getting XP is just to hang around next to me while I do this. Okay, I'm back to chuck some iron on the floor. Please pick it up before it expires. And some coal. I'm going to come do another pickup run, I think. Hmm. Can I get a torch, please? Thank you. Turn that one on. Why are... The, the thing is, the ones you put down, they've got less range and they're less bright. They're absolutely awful. Yes. And they require fuel, which the ones in your hand doesn't, apparently. No. Oh, it does wear itself out slowly. Yeah. But it's inconsistent, though, isn't it? That's, that's the real yeah. issue there. Ah, it's cool. Would you want leather and furs? Uh, I think for now, put it in the textile bench. I can actually make a next tier of armor. I just need the bench for it. So I'm kind of saving all the fur and the leather for that. Because then, yeah. I mean, why not just skip it? Because we're going to be making... Like, we're going to yeah. be grabbing a load of iron and stuff anyway. It won't take me very long. And fiber? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'd put it in the textile bench. Um, but, you, I mean, just put some in the crafting bench, some in the textile bench. We'll use it. Right, Adam, oh. I am here for collection duty. Sorry, it's so cold, I can't stand in the water. I've got so many debuffs now, I can't stand in the water. And, um... Uh, 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 pickaxe. Oh, maybe I'll eat this carrot, maybe. Is that warming you? Next to you. Um, no, I've got lungs and... Oh, what's that? Underground. I'm sitting 12 yeah. fours. Got lungs. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Doctor, doctor, I've got lungs. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Congratulations. Minor wins is not a weather event. Needs work. Okay, is that everything? Is that all the iron? Oh, there's no one there. Uh, one behind me here. Okay. There's a cop. We don't really need that. There's one on the wall up here as okay. well. It's good thing I see let everything. Let me chuck down what I'm carrying there. So lots of stuff on the floor. Please get... Got it. There's at least three more nodes. I'm over encumbered, so I'm going. Oh, yeah. Uh, is that gold here? To be yeah. honest, it's really not far, so it doesn't matter if you're encumbered too yeah. much. Yeah. Well, we've got people. And as much as much coal as you can find, Adam. There's... I think that's all of it. Then. So there's another one over here. If you follow me. I need a torch. Thank you. Yeah. What's one of some of the coal in one of these torches? I should take. You need out. you need a, a torch. <laughs> no, 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 no. I put coal into a torch. Oh, don't do that. I think it's that one around the corner there. When you're near, start him. Put Come sticks on, in the others. Someone please check for the uh, coal and the torch. And then there's another one over here. Oh. Yep. Where? On this wall. Oh, yeah. And that's it. Everything else is copper, a bit of oh, titanium. And... Get, get out of the water. Oh, can, can you just put a... Oh, no, I, might have one yeah, I can't actually. I haven't I'm got around. anything to build, yeah. Henry, can you put a ramp? No. 
They don't have material. They don't have fiber. Oh, no, there's one up here as well. If I stand in the water, my stamina drains, so I have to jump. I have to get up on the rocks and then jump. If my stamina drains to absolutely zero, so I can't do anything apart from uh, walk. I can't even jump. Ah, oh, my pickaxe broke. So that's it, I'm afraid. Power it? What? No, this is my fancy right. pickaxe. Oh, okay. Um, so give down. me. Oh, you're running. Yeah, let's just okay. go back. I've probably got enough for a bit. Where do you want the ramp? Oh, it's okay. Well, I just up to that last bit. It's okay. I managed to jump up it. We're just going to head back now uh, and uh, take stock of all our shiny new toys. And I need to, I need to get Malcolm to make me a um, fancy thing and a fancy other thing. You want me to carry something? I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. My issue is my stamina bar, so I can only sprint for very uh, short. Oh right. It's okay. I've got a, I've got a, some lungs happening, basically like COVID. <laughs> yeah, you got enough for an anvil. I don't know what that is. Uh, coal and wet India in the um, anvil workbench, whatever it is. Stone furnace. That's it. The anvil workbench. I'm. I'm. I have questions about how we're doing our crates here. I mean, it works. I, I know, right? If it's You're stupid welcome. and it works... Well, it's not stupid. It's still stupid. No. Do we not have an oxygen... Oh, we do. We have an oxygen bench here. How is my oxygen looking? Oh, about 80% still. But there's no way. So now, this is my issue. I have to go I, oxygen, drag into infantry, escape. Yep. I have to interact, drag that in... No, I've never made the next tier oxygen thing, so I don't know if that's just better. Right. I require... Actually, I've got everything. It's fine. I require more... A bit more of this. I'd like to see the chat take his water and somehow drink it, but obviously with a spacer on it makes it very difficult. Yeah, I guess he just puts it into a uh, little... A little tube. I thought, you know... Yeah, just... Yeah. I'd like to see him sort of pick up his head and drink it sort of thing, but obviously you can't do that. Well, no, because oh, no, if, if you look at... If, oh, where are you, Max? If you look at me a second... Yeah. Right, now pretend my character's animating. Berry. 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 He's just going <laughs> to be smashing berries into his face. He's holding berries in his hand, yeah. Looks like he's condensated his mask up quite heavily, though. Yeah, so that condensation effect, it's... If your character falls over, the condensation effect stays upright. So as you tilt your head, I think it's supposed to be a reflection. And I think the reflection is always of the snow. Oh, which is not... Oh, I see. Yeah, we're all doing it. Yeah. But if you if you look carefully, because <laughs> as your character animates, he'll tilt his head. Uh, actually, hold on. Here yeah. you go. If I lay down on this bed, and you look at me... Adam, I'm, I'm not going to make you a it's iron pickaxe. Your head. Yeah, you can't yeah. see your eyes. Yeah. Adam, I'm not going to make yeah. you an iron pickaxe. Uh -huh. I'm going to make you a steel one. Sulfur. But we need... Huh? I'll give you sulfur if you do. I was going to make you a steel one. Yeah, that's what I've got to offer. Um, for that, I need four silica and a bit more stone to make I a hand pestle and water. I don't think I've seen any silica, I'm afraid. But I definitely you say that, have. But I I've can't, got stone. Remember, I can't actually chop down any silica until I get an axe. Because I don't have a pickaxe. Yeah, I can, I can do that. Uh, yeah, you've got, you've got the shit whenever you got yeah. silica. There you go, Henry got silica. Like I an obscenely small amount. Yeah, four silica ore, please. Yeah, I might as well just make you um, make you a steel one. Steel one. Lasts longer. The only problem with it gives you more resources. Harder to repair. Yes. It's really not that bad. Well, it's a steel. Just... Yeah, and a steel is. Iron and coal. That's it. 31 silica incoming. I only need four. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> Where do you want it? Floor, please. Or, yeah, or the crafting bench. Whatever you prefer. Crafting bench, safe. There you go. Shelter. What the fuck? Are you... Okay. 
Alright, so what are we making? What do we need? 19. Woo! Woo! Um, Dropping I, some things, sounds like a good idea. I mean, I think part of the next part is um, slightly warmer gear and then wandering into the Arctic area. But technically, any one of us needs to do that. We need, do we need to go in the Arctic area? Well, I, know, I assume so. I mean, you, I, I, I literally had one minor commandment, which is, can you guys just explore? I came down this far and made a house. <laughs> well, I'm exploring the Arctic area. I mean, that's that's kind of what I asked you to do, but uh, see, Shaq has got the idea. Need some more weather gear to explore the cold area. Exploring sounds like a dangerous thing to do with bears and... It It is yeah. an exchange. Why did you think I outsourced it? Yeah. Ah, it's easy. It's easy, but dangerous. Nah. Like so many things in life. I realised the danger. One critical headshot was not enough. One headshot's not enough. That's not a real song. Yeah, someone's... Not sure about. No, I had to... Oh, yeah, what's the back my head? Okay, so I've made, in case anybody wants to, to, to scout, I've made it. Oh, frame rate. I've made a little scouting post here. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make you an iron one. An iron scouting post? No, an iron um, pickaxe. Can I also get an iron Yeah. axe? Oh, yeah. don't forget, by the way, I, I mentioned there are quite literally hundreds of corn to eat. Please mm -hmm. do, because they time out. Just just gorge thine selves. Just eat the top one off the seat, off the stack. Uh, Laterally. Adam, that's come disgust. collect. So that's just like dipping. What's Adam, it, what's, come collect. Yeah, all right. What's, what's the phrase? Dipping and... Mm. Where you, you've got a, a crisp and you dip it into some dip and then you eat part of it and then you dip it. Double dipping, that's the one. Double dipping. Yeah. Although, uh, maybe we all remember the... Um, uh, Mythbusters episode, but the approach is actually fine. No matter how disgusting you think it is, it's actually fine. Oh, look at this. Shiny new tools. How'd you make a backpack again? Sweatshops in China? Ah, <laughs> mm. oh, there we go. Need rope. Right. Um... What, to tie the children down? Yeah. You're sick. For the chairs. Let them do the work. Step one. Don't wear nappies. Craft chairs. God. That's... Now that's taking it too far. Just cut a hole in the chair and pop a bucket under it. Oh, that'll do as well. Or I'll just make what's, them what's wrong with that? That's what I'm sitting on right now. <laughs> sitting on the commode. Hey, I hear bears. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly what bears sound like. So what do we? Okay, we need to work out if we actually need to go. Yes. Into the yes. icy, snowy bit. Yes. Yes, we do. Okay, yes. that's not very far. No. It's a bit unclear whether we need to sustain the cold or whether we're going to be brief enough. I. It's pretty freaking mean in there. I'll tell you that from previous experience. It's not it's not messing around with how nasty it is. So you can probably as long as there's no active weather event, it's not too bad. You can sprint in there. I could just make some fur armor. I might need to do a bit more hunting, but I can make a load anyway. I can hear bears, by the way. Say hi. Mm. More like, you look tasty. What the bear? No, that's what the bear's saying. The wolf. That's from the bear's <laughs> point of view. What did the fox say? Take my axe, bitch. What did the fox say? Ah, stop hitting me with an axe! 
No, je, 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 je. Is it possible to forget something that you, you just heard or saw? Yes, that's a bear. Is it? How? How? Right there. I oh. found it. He's in the wrong way, so I can't headshot him. Uh, what kind of bear? Him and us. Regular I'll bear. Teach him a lesson. Regular bear. Just, oh, just your average bear then. Coming. Yeah, just not, your not, average not bear. Smaller bear. Not smart as both Yogi Bear, obviously. He's smarter than your average bear. Right. As we all know. <laughs> I did like uh, a uh, wildlife park ranger of the state said the problem that with um, designing a bear proof bin is there is considerable overlap between the dimmest tourists and the cleverest bears. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, like I like that a lot. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, but I have seen videos of bears. They've worked out how to get into cars. So if you leave your car unlocked, they will quite happily. Um, Watch the window. Just no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. They'll just pull the door open. They don't need to be violent at all. Your car's locking I, mechanism, you I might know. think it's fairly strong, but not compared to, you know, a bear who just a pulls. For, you know, for him, he's pulling gently. Okay. I can see everything from up here. Not literally true. Take a fire with me. Buy that. At what point does open comfort actually become a handicap? About 100. And... When you need to run quickly. When you need to run quickly. Yeah. yeah, no, no. If you get to about 105, 110, you, you don't move anymore. You just stop dead. I've got under 53 and I'm still moving. Maybe it's 200. No, there is a point at which you no longer move. Who's that in the fur? Have you seen my, uh, I've got your scouting Hello. ramp. A scouting ramp. I'm just going to go. I need a bit. Of... Is that you hacking down the trees? Yes. I'm just going to take a little bit of wood so I can make a, oh, well, I've got loads of wood. a fire on it. Yeah. I have like 300 wood or so. Shaka said something. What, what? Polar oh, bear. Oh, yeah, easy. Ground. Ah, polar bears don't like me. If it root finds me, I'm fucking uninstalling this game. Wait, I'll get that. 83 damage. I slowed it down now. I have a slow. Where's Schalke gone? I'm down. Oh, where are you? Oh, by the bear. By the bear? Well, okay, but more specific. I don't know where you are, Schalke. Oh, there you go. You now can't move because my 15% thing triggered. I just stand there and shoot it in the face. Da, da. There you go. I should really make an iron. Right, I know what I need to do. I need to make an iron. I'm a bit east from there. Pop, pop a marker down on yourself and tell me what colour it is. White, thank you. I'm going to make an iron knife back in a minute and then I'll go and attack that area. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't. Yeah, those polar bears don't scare me anymore. Two polar bears? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> scare me a little bit. <laughs> One polar bear. Oh, oh. No. Ah. <laughs> Two polar bears. I don't think... Okay. We can't get to where we need to be because there is a polar bear in the way. Awesome. Oh, there's a level 47 fox here asleep. Yeah. But it's not that cold. I say, as long as there are no weather events, you can pretty much just run through. Um, we built, You can build a house, but you pretty much have to stand on top of the campfire to it to achieve anything. So we got stuck in a storm, so we stood on... A bunch of campfires. Yeah, yeah, I realise you don't, really don't need to do that. Any of the cracks you see on the world, uh, on the floor, you can um, you basically go and and just stand in there, and you're you're covered, you're protected from the storm, but you're still cold. Someone's angered a bear. It's not me. He, I love the bears. Me a whole one. Mm, I really could. Not all in one sitting. Obviously. Oh, whoa, hello. 
Do you remember that? Um, Shredded wheat, you couldn't eat three. I used to eat three just oh. out of spite. And many years later, I realised that's exactly what they wanted you to do. Yeah. Like, like, it was a struggle to eat three, but I would. And I'd be like, ha-ha, television adverts, you are wrong. This is the zone. It's around here somewhere. Ooh, okay. Worms. Worms? Yeah. Possibly new. No. Same worms as normal. I've not seen any worms in um What? In there. Cave worms. It Yeah, oh you in you're in a cave, are you? Yes. Oh no. Right. Um. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, decanting stuff and then I'll be on my way again. I was gonna make a little house, but um it turns out it's gonna yeah. be a very little house. Mine exotic ore deposit. Oh. Well, Adam, yeah. you're up. I can't because there's no worm. So, I'm away. Oh, I can't. Oh, I need fiber. You can't get fiber out here, can you? You cannot. I've got some on me. What do you need it for? Um, just a house. As I said, I have some of a house, just not much of a house. I'll bring. It's, I'll it's, bring it's some currently. I'll gather on the on the way. It's currently more of a EU legal smoking shelter. <laughs> 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 that is the best the best example of it. <laughs> Jack, if, you, if you've got fibre and can make us a door, that'd be cool. Otherwise, uh... I don't really have fibre. My polar, my polar bear disappeared. Oh. I want to go a knife so I can skin it. Can you bow and arrow, Shalka? Do an arrow? Bow and arrow. Can you do bowing? Yeah. Go bow that. Go bow that worm. Archery, isn't it? That's the oh, worm. It's a pile of here. Go archer the worm. We can do that thing in Ghostbusters. I'll give you the plan. And cross the streams. Get her, Shalka. Get her. That was your whole plan. Um. Ow! The bear hit me. How oh, dare it! Doesn't happen. Oh dare it! So the um, heat is very much like Fortress Craft, by the way. So you've got the slow bar and the fast bar. Shaka's on fire. Brilliant. Low yeah, bar and fast. So on your heat, you have a low bar and a high bar. So the high bar is your internal temperature, which moves slowly, and the low bar is your external temperature. So if you get your external temperature up high, um, you have to wait a few seconds for your internal temperature to raise, and vice versa. Which is exactly right, yeah. how I did it in Vulture's Craft. <laughs> I did it quite complicated. It's like a whole uh, uh, nice insulation system and things. Weather events incoming. Yeah, so this is where we don't want to be out in this area. Where am I from you? Oh, I'm actually a fair way. We should be fine inside the cave though, right? I don't know. The place no, full I'm of worms. To, and... I'm coming to the cave. I'm... Just, just near you. Is that? A, that's a. That's not a polar bear call. Yeah, I can see your shack. No uh, shack. Not a love shack. By the way, the ice boxes are amazing. Almost definitely, there is more worms. Yep, I'm, I'm being just... wormed. Thank you, Shalka. Yeah, that's same thing. I'm here. I am. Shalka's seeing to my worm issue with a bow and arrow. Right now. What? Was just dropped it. Was that it? That's that's it. And we've even done the optional you, bit. You, you probably don't want to go out in this thing, yeah. Why not? Well, the storage it's is cold. Any more, no, no, any more exotics here? That's it. We've even done the optional. Oh well. Um, maybe. I mean, I don't know what this means. I got fifteen exotics, which I think might give us fifteen purple thing but it might also need to give me 15 purple i don't know I'm, no i think I, it shares it out between everyone a bit unfair otherwise yeah. wouldn't it so well, we should probably get more so we should get while we're here we should get more we should go back in adam we'll get more because it's warmer in there right ah. is it the is the same, though? Exotics? i, mean, I can do it with a bandage i have a bandage would you like a bandage no because uh, i'm in the thing if i'd known it was this easy me, by the way make your bandage we could just run in here and do this bloody quest and not bother building anything 
And it's on the floor, Adam. You ch- oh, f- I never learn. Fuck's sake, I can't Malcolm. pass it. It's I can't not hand it fucking to you. sterile if you chuck it on the floor, is it? <laughs> don't, give a, don't care. Where's the exotic ore, then? In here, it glows. Just it might be mine. I don't see any more. Is that all of it? Well, it might be more in other caves. Yeah. So are we, are we going to sprint back or just twiddle thumbs? Sprint back, probably. Sprint back is fine. All right, then. Says the man with no previous experience of a snowstorm in this game. Oh, cool. Reindeer. Not true. Made that up. Oh, my bottle of water's frozen. Ah. Actually, it hasn't. But even worse than that, my bottle of water gives me a chilling effect. Um, so yeah, it's uh, like for hot areas, but it gives me... F- and redu- about- Reduces my um. I can't fight that not this. It reduces my resistance to heat uh, to cold by five percent. I'm crouch because that polar bear spots you. It's going to be a bad day. Or should I just kill the polar bear? No, no, no. It's all right. Um, I will trudge slowly through. The... I'm going to kill this nut. Uh, if I kill it, no, if no, I attack no, it, it'll it come after you. That's right. no, fine. This one polar bears hate me because it's one simple trick. Yeah, we should be alright if we run hoof it now. How's your health, Adam? Awful. Is your health uh, actually low? Yeah, oh gosh, yes. And I've got lung disease. No, no. I've got I'm suffering from cold, cold and rain. Quite frankly. You're gonna seem to eat on you. Uh, yeah, well, yes, I've done that, but it doesn't. It really does not do very much to your health eating. Hmm. Like I've just, I've just, my face is recovered in berries. Eat the right thing. It's an eat meat. Oh, I'm coming. I, the only thing I could eat like that is sulfur in my inventory. I'm afraid. Do you want to exchange something? Uh, no, I'm alright as long as I don't get killed. But we're all gonna. God, I wish this game had a slash F. What's the slash F? <laughs> Follow. Follow. It's like someone slash F. Auto follow. Yeah. yeah. Numlock. No, Numlock we auto run. Slash F would literally follow another target. It was just the best thing in Warcraft when you were. I'm going to nip to the toilet. You run You run us over to learn. Yeah. It's okay. The storm's finished now. Oh, shit. You guys are running without me. There's a wolf. I've got no stamina. Thank you. Did I get it? Yeah. Thank you, murder man. <laughs> Me, it's just for the... I really I want. Dying. Dying. I've, I've no idea where you are, Shaka. This is say, I, I can see walls from miles with the little indicators, but I've no idea where you are. Oh, so Shaka the white marker. Yes, Mr. Chicken. I see you. I'm um, coming. Come on. But like, I want my teammates to glow, or something. Yeah. Like, have a little, little uh, left for dead style. Um, you come in. Blow markers. Right. I'm going to upgrade for that, probably. Lost you. What, me? In this is what I mean. Yeah, I'm yeah, literally yeah. in front of you and you can't find me. I had to press M to find you. There's a wolf here. I killed it. It's fine. Um, so, I would suggest then, I'll get back to bed, go to bed, and we'll all log off and log back on to make it daytime rather than exiting in the freaking nighttime. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, good point. I want to know more details about this Tesla hack this guy's done. Like, I'm, I'm really genuinely curious, because that's the thing. The moment you make anything accessible over the internet, if I, can get to, if I can get to it, someone else can get to it. That's just the definition of, you know, something on the internet. Um, but so far, the Tesla stuff has been bulletproof. But, of course, when you're talking about getting control of something worth tens of thousands of pounds... Mm. But yeah, he says, he's, he's very clear, this is not a vulnerability in Tesla's infrastructure, it is the owner's fault. Owner's fault, but I want to know what. Anyway, um, yeah. three people. Give me a sec. So are we at the point that we can uh, download a car? 
In theory, I mean, is it something... if that person so... owns full self-driving and you're in the States, you could remotely hack their car via the app and hit the summon button and it will drive to you over any distance. In theory. In practice, not so much. Like, for example, it's probably plugged in. Um, and yeah. the master control of the of the um, uh, applica- of the account can remove sub owners and all that sort of stuff. Um, who's still in the game and needs to leave? Oh, all right. Okay, please rejoin. Ah, someone's so his the guy's issue is this is he can't get hold of the people to tell them that he's managed to hack their cars. And someone suggested he uploads to YouTube a video that says, <laughs> I have hacked your car and um please contact me and we'll we'll, we'll fix it. Which I thought was quite quite a good idea. Because I had this before, we used to have a bunch of printers I, I could see, and you've just sent messages like I have full control of your printer to the printer and it was he printed it out. <laughs> You're just running back, yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> of course, this is Tesla fault. A properly designed security system present, prevents the user from compromising himself. Really? Hello, sir. I'm just uh, I'm just fixing well, Tesla. Adam. I just need your password. Oh, yeah, here's my password. Thank you very much. Bye. Twit. Well, I was wondering, is it, is it maybe that the, like, the Tesla's connected to Wi-Fi and he's hacked the guy's Wi-Fi, so somehow he can then directly connect to it via his Wi-Fi? Yeah, you, there's a thing, man of the... Well, no, so the Tesla never... All, all commands for Teslas go via the servers. So no matter where the Tesla is, I can um, request, you know, give me the status of the car, unlock the doors, and that message, or either it bounces off the local Bluetooth or it bounces off the, uh, the, the remote Tesla servers. Um, people are via, via like 4G or 5G or something probably. By, yeah, via 4G, yes. People are suggesting he's it's something to do with a secondary pin. That's people who've just bit one, two, three, four as the pin or something. I, I don't really know. I've not seen that particular part. But the thing is, I guarantee you for the next week, that's all I'm going to see is people going, oh yeah, but you can remotely hack a Tesla. You could steal it remotely. I'm going to see all this shit. Yeah. And this is yeah. the beginning of that. Well, you should have bought a real car. <laughs> Joking. What, one without internet access, yeah. How many cars don't have it? Uh, how many brand new cars don't have internet access? Um. And define internet access. <laughs> you can remotely query the state of the car or do anything to it. Okay, how many? How many cars don't? I, mean, I guess actually some. Yeah. Mm, probably most. I mean, phone as key is a thing. Um, yeah. But that's not an all cars. I said on the Honda, you have to pay 50 quid a year for that privilege. Oh, okay. And I was like, what? Oh, so the Honda. So, again, I, I, I did do my research, as I said, and I um, I made sure that I, w- I was happy getting into the Tesla infrastructure. Um, one of those was the very clear message from Tesla, this car does not require regular servicing because it's an electric car. It doesn't require regular servicing. Because mm-hmm. irregular servicing, i.e. brakes, um, pollen... Oh, those things wear rather yeah, than... Yeah, exactly. There's no point of having a yearly in- service to sort of check. No. Why would you? Well, you check it. You need to know what state of it is. Yeah, well, that's what your MOT is for. But, yeah, we do the service. Well, no, have, no. Yeah, no it's it's exactly. Is, MOT is purely a check, and then you, you can pay them extra to make your car. Yeah. You don't need that in the MOT years yeah. anyway. But what, you're, yeah, exactly, what, yeah. what you've got there, Max, is... Is, is it three is or two? Three. I think it's the, is it the it's, third it's, year that you have to do it. It's three. Like that. You, get, you get three years grace, yes. But Max, what you're doing there is you're doing old car thinking because you don't need to. So all the bits that might go wrong on a car, um, radiator, oil levels, clutch, they don't exist. Realistically, your brakes don't do anything either on the car. Like people mm. have said that, you know, the unless, main... Unless you or someone else has fucked up. Well, so realistically, they said the your issue will be that the brakes get very rusty. Like that's the biggest issue you've got yeah. in EV because you never ever ever use them. Um, yeah, that happens. That happens on but, online. I, I would actually every so often act- actively break to get rid of the rust. Yeah. So that so, when I needed it, it was it, yeah. it would work. So VW still require you to come in for a yearly service to keep your warranty active. Quote full service history unquote for eighty quid a year. Mm. And I'm oh, like, that's... but what you, you look at it again? 
it's fine. But what are you doing? Brakes, brake pads, brake discs, tire tread. Those are covered by your your MOT. So you do not need well, to. Fly out when they're at a, a dangerously low level, they won't say they were there. What level they're at? They'd yeah, say they did. They're not good. They'll, 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 they'll warn you if they oh, were the, the, yeah. the next MOT. They'll say they'll say brake pads low or something. Yeah, no, windy. For example, they're fine. You know, they've got like seventy percent tread wear load, and they say, "Oh, they're okay." Um, well, they won't give you an indication of where you, where you go. They'll, they'll give, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, sometimes they will give you the depth, sometimes they won't. But you know, generally, they Service will tell you. Service you anyway. Yes. You're but fine, get going. Generally and also, the car's got a sensor on it to tell you how bad the brakes are if they get to a really bad state. Some cars. What? what? All cars, I thought. What? Oh, the squeal. Yeah. Know, if, the, if the brakes get to a danger level, there is a warning on the dash that says the brakes are... You know, like a circle oh, two oh, oh, it. only if you've got posh brakes yes because those have got conductors in them so what happens is mm. when it starts to rub against the metal of the disc the conductors fire and transmit back to the car that's definitely not standard those are expensive <laughs> but usually what you get is um towards the end of the brakes life they tend to make horrendous noises when you're braking but you've still got a thousand miles of braking left but they will make a god awful noise and they're called squealers so when your car starts to squeal get the brakes fixed and on the left hand side here is a little hut I made earlier. Ah, cool. Um, but yeah, so Honda have taken this one step further. So I, I, I gave VW a black mark in my head for. Um, Ran past it. Um, trying to charge me 80 quid a year for the privilege of nothing. There's nothing they would do. Um, so apparently, Tesla, they will replace your allergen filter and they'll top up your, your washer fluid and then go, yeah. Um, oh, brilliant. <laughs> So you just send it in with a full top up. Wash up, wash fluid. I mean, Awful. given the the price of washer fluid, I, I don't know. Yeah. It's not worth it. No. <laughs> so Honda. So part of this is because VW are well aware that EVs do not require regular servicing, and they want to continue to make their money. Now Honda have taken it one further with the Honda E. So if you purchase the Honda E, you get. Uh, I think I think they call it basic connectivity. So it's free for you if you buy the car. If you purchase a car from somebody else, I think it will cost you fifty pounds a year to get that back, and that's stuff like sat nav. For an extra sixty pounds a year, you can get the Honda Premium connectivity, which means you can see. I think it's okay, Honda. So it's voice control for fifty quid a year for the privilege of saying okay, Honda. You know, turn the right. heated seats on, whatever. For another fifty quid a year, we're taking up to a hundred. Hey, Adam. £160 a year at this point, um, you can then get your phone acts as a key. So Honda have got subscription stuff to the, to the level of £160 a year because they know they're, they're missing out on servicing costs on cam belts and clutches and, and all the bits that don't exist on the EV, so therefore they can't nickel and dime you for. And lots of manufacturers are going to start doing this because it, they, they are worried about their revenue stream. Yeah. Well, the stupid thing about it, the thing about it is, we've got lots of um, lots of service centres. Shout out, there's a wormy thing. Oh, it's disappeared. That's a good point. Actually, so all the service centres might disappear, and you'll be only going to the um, the you know, legitimate ones, as it were. Yes, I I mean I chatted with a friend of mine several years ago about this because he's a mechanic, and I just said, you know, what are your plans? He said, don't know yet. But yeah, tyre wear is the, the same, give or take. To be honest, in a couple of years. In a couple in ten, of years, they will. Years, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's uh, it's an interesting paradigm. No, shift. I don't see anything of worth in here. No, no it's, worm. it's just cover. That's all. If I hit this until I get my one hundred percent break, I wonder if I get all the experience points for mining the whole thing. I'm just waiting for Max and Xiao to catch up as well. Just waiting for the whole wall to disappear. As I said before... I'm faster if I throw everything out no. of my inventory. That's no, not necessary. You're, you're either over-encumbered or not. Okay. So as I said, the service engineer I know that Tesla said, said he's only replaced one set of brake pads since he got there. Mm. And my response was challenge accepted. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Again, the usual bollocks on your talent check. Come on. Going, um, when a Tesla's going to get proper brakes, like proper Brembo's, and I just think going, all Model 3s have front Brembo brakes. All of them. Because they just basically just, just shot down any criticism by just getting the best brake manufacturer in the world to make their brakes. Like, there you go. Or at least the, uh, uh, yeah. The thing is, realistic, all brake, they're really the same. It's just that Brembo's have got a good name behind them. They don't have magic, uh, cylinders pushing the pads on or anything like that the yeah. same stuff I mean, if you can skid your tires your brakes are good enough yes the real, technically the, yes the argument comes is how many times can you break from 100 yeah. to north within mm. 20 minutes that's the thing what but, EV? there was one ev there was a, I can't remember which company it was there was a company that was say turn around saying oh yeah because um cars because electric cars don't really use their brakes very much we you know it's much more efficient for us to put um uh drum brakes on them Yes. Which company was that? There was I've one seen company that. Was, was just oh, drum brakes yeah, are a like, nightmare. Ugh. Yeah, they're like, oh yeah, it's just better. It's like, it's cheaper for you to manufacture, <laughs> but it's not better. Yeah, to be fair though, I mean, I, um, I've said we've got drum brakes in the back of the smart car. They're really only there for the handbrake. Yeah. They don't really do anything in, in normal braking. Okay. If they did, they just look up because all the weight's in the front wheels. Yes, horrible, horrible, horrible things. Has everyone arrived? Oh, the, the storm has passed. Abated. And that. I can hear a wolf, I don't see a wolf. Yeah. But yeah, it's, again, this is another thing that pushed me towards Tesla. Honda charging 150 quid a year for what I consider to be basic functionality. Standard. Like, my phone is a key. I don't see any reason, any reason, any manufacturer would never offer that. You don't have to, obviously. You can continue to use whatever entry, but... I want to use my phone as a key. And I absolutely think yeah, the, that, that, that to me. The only things, the things I kind of understand are things like, is it, I think it's Apple. I'm not sure if Google do this as well, but for Apple CarPlay, like if Apple charge per month, per year, whatever it is per car, and that, like, it depends on how expensive it is and whether it warrants basically adding it on top of the, you know, the cost of the car. Yeah. Well, I understand that because that's basically a, hey, look, you know, here's the reason why you can pay for the feature, but you don't have to, and it's reduced slightly on the price of the car. We've reduced the high car from a, by a couple of hundred quid to cover that truck, car, uh, truck cost for you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, it's, a, so it's it is like the connectivity services and like that, which I do kind of understand. Yes, so I will probably pick up premium connectivity on Thursday because that gives me internet access for the car. But not internet access to people in the car, so you can't share it to people in the car. But it gives oh, you Wi-Fi hotspot. No, but it gives you access to Netflix. It gives you access, more importantly, to the satellite view, which is kind of nice. I kind of like it. But mm. it also gives you access to the live Sentry because when I check the Sentry, yeah. that's transmitting the data back to me. That's tanky. As in location of the car. No, no, I can watch all the cameras no, in my car. Cameras. Sixty in, degrees in cameras on, on the car. Yeah. Oh. So if so, basically, if your car alarm if your car alarm goes off, you don't know about it. If my car alarm goes off, well, it depends where the car is. I do. Fair. If if, the, if your car alarm went off, would you know that's your car and not your neighbour's car? If I, if my car alarm went off, I'd get a notification on my phone about it. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Right. you'd be like, oh, I'd have well. to look. I'd have you, to visually and yeah. verify. But you probably wouldn't. You'd be like, whose car alarm's that? So I get a notification on my phone. The car flashes all its headlights, takes video and, and photograph recordings of whoever set it off. And I can then start to watch all the cameras on the car in real time and see who's playing silly fuckers with my car. And that to me is amazing. That's just, that's brilliant. That's what you want. Because then, you know, yeah. uh, you can so How just... much extra do you have to pay for electrified hand... Um door handles um that's not available in the uk at the minute only in africa i'm afraid so south africa it, do, say, do actually, yeah. it's, it's an africa thing but it's actually available in africa um no people do they have a look, I, know, I know they, people i know people do it i know have, for a fact people do it because yeah, they, they, they do it as custom aftermarket for, yeah. for bmws because they, yeah, have, we've got a couple of factories and yeah they uh, have a, right they, do, they, do they actually do official ones because i've seen the the aftermarket no, ones so there's aftermarket a, ones it's a switch like drop in it's a switch underneath the wheel arch and it then electrifies the door handles straight up to the battery. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Fast back. Oh. A 12 volt. 12 volt? Yeah, it's a lot of amps. Well, 
You can also do capacitors, but you could do high voltage, but, low amps if you. Prefer. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah, I was going to say I was like, well, just straight up 48 volts. I think in, I think in South Africa, if someone breaks into your house or your car or something like that, and they are if they need medical attention because of the deterrence you put on your car, you're not liable for it, I believe, uh, in South Africa. Yeah, um, unless they're white, in which case you probably are. South Africa is still very... Mm. It's very much a three-tier system. There's blacks, there's whites, and there's rich whites. And it's still somewhat behind the rest of the world, shall we, uh, shall we say. Um, but bribing is... Um, Right there, yeah. So, so someone got killed breaking your house is 50 rand. All right, cheers, mate. Like I said, I mean, I used to be on a South African mailing list, and genuinely, some of the jokes were the punchline was he was black. And South African friends would laugh at this. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. But he's black. I'm like, I, I, I don't get the joke. It's like, well, he, but he's, he, he's black. And that was their entire explanation yeah. for, for the, I'm like, I, 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 I you remember Gareth, don't you, uh, from Airtel? Yeah. Because he was South African, and he said he found it very hard. He was a lovely bloke, very, um, very well spoken, very clever, and he said it very, he found it very hard because his boss was black, and he says he finds it so hard because he's been ingrained that to him, black people, ahead, I mean, you are, they were no? help, they were servants, and you know this was a his boss, and he says he 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 found it so hard to adapt to. Who's who's just left culture. before the mission's completed? Why is? <laughs> Did I miss out on the rewards? Well, Probably. I haven't, I haven't left yet, so you're all good. No, There's he's left. Walking around here with a with an arrow in its foot. Oh, you've left, left. Yeah, he's left, left. Oh well, he's lost. Can you come back, Shalker? Have you just? Kind yeah, of he's left gone left. in his dropship, so he's locked down now. Okay. Holy shit! That means I can only take there five. Mission complete. Do you realise if I had six objects, I'd get to get somebody else to return this exotics? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, <clears throat> it's all good to leave now. Now, mission, now it says mission complete. Yeah. It's alright, Jack. I, I'm sure we'll do some more. I, I'm going to let you guys leave, and I'm just going to grab a drink, and then I will, I will leave. I think I'm going to be off because I've got a long day tomorrow. Mm. Well, hopefully, you're going to say, if you want to play something, let's play some Ember. I thought it was hilarious. Mm. I, I didn't think much of it. It's not. It's not bad. It's got a lot of potential, but I didn't find it that fun. But I found it very similar to um, Overcooked and like that, which is they're, they're fine. I'm out. I wish all the markers weren't white. I've got three white markers on the HUD. It's really unhelpful. I think I found my one. Hooray, there we go. Uh, what am I taking? I'm taking... You can only take exoticus, can't you? Even if you put other stuff in, they don't take it. I'd like to have an oxygen bottle and things like that. Yeah. There we go. Right, I now have a canteen and the tank. Sweet. Uh, just to check, Shaka, you can't return, then you, you have lost the uh, fairly minimal rewards. I understand that I will get it when everybody exits. That is what it says. We'll see. But yeah, this game needs to be a lot stricter in the dialogue box. It's going, are you sure? Are you, are you sure you want to? Because you can't come back and... Interesting to see what happens. Some warnings, but...
New mail. There you go, I've got 15 of those special points. Oh, so we, 15 uh, exotics. But we get, so we get, we all get 15. Okay, that's, that's it. good to know. I mean, I, I don't think I can spend them mm -hmm. now. I get three oh, rewards. I've got 150R. The different one. Oh, did I not? Yeah, what, what? I got one. You get one for the mission completion and one for the the end of mission. It's yeah. Weird. I mean, the other one just to claim elsewhere. Realistically, if you, as long as you're lucky with um, polar bears, you could just run there and back again on that mission. Hmm. Right. What else? I said, I have now got bandages, comet coals. So you start off with coal. Where I get fancier suit, fancy knife. But once you hit four items down. You can only then retrieve one item from the surface. So I'm confused. On the right-hand side, you'll notice there are... Oh, it's five. Look, no, there's six bits of armor. Oh, no, there's... there's On the far right, there's the Dongshan and the Buhu. And that's a suit upgrade. And then you have five bits you can carry down. Stuff you wear won't. Yeah. You can also keep them on your person. doesn't use up slots. Only the only the Enviro suit. The shoes, I suspect, do require slots. Modulars can't be interdisciplined into the suits. Mod I don't think the modules will come back again, will they? I mean I'm not I'm not gonna try it. I did get them back. Modules. I've been using the as a mass dampener module, the first one you get there, which I, it, you can take it back with you. But it okay. just fits okay. in your suit and it gives you five right. percent movement right. speed. Let me say this slower. The Enviro suit has and clearer clearer slower the enviro suit here has an oxygen slot if i put my oxygen bottle my exotic oxygen bottle into my enviro suit and hit leave will i leave with that oxygen bottle which i have not put into my dropship which is inside my enviro suit i would guess no it's not something i've tried for obvious reasons is that what you did Sharper? i had i had mass dampener module inserted in my suit and not everywhere else and mm -hmm. i did keep it right so a... i would guess it would you would keep it so that's a suit module though yeah has anybody got the player tracker module uh, we no need... because it requires any... um what's tracker. it called oh uh, yeah the other one the other where's the, where's the player tracker module um to the left of the mass damp on the module. Right. The Access the visual map, can place so, waypoints, can see player waypoints on the map, yeah. But it's, it's what we can already do. Um, apparently, apparently they were going to remove it from the base game and add it as that tracker module. Well, then move the fucking tracker module. <laughs> hmm. Oh, then there's a patcher module, extra suit inventory slots. Low burn module. Blood. Yeah, the um, the dose up module is quite looks quite good. I don't this is the the second row on the right hand side. Lower consumptions. Yeah, ten percent oxygen, food, and water reduction in consumption. Meh. Well, this is the same as the talents base, isn't it? Um, sort of. Give less permanence to them. No, no, these are, these are permanent. Uh, unless you leave them behind, obviously. But, you know, you should yeah. avoid trying to do. So this will give me something. I'm going to get that. Yeah, patch one and patch two. More, more. What are you getting? Slots. Slots. Five, one, 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 five. Right, so I don't... Okay, so then I've got access to the Gustav or the Duo or the Fermi. Yeah, the Duo is the one I'm using. Minus five... Oh, 600. I'm wearing the Gustav. Oh yeah, the Fermi 600. <laughs> I'm gonna get Gustav. Okay. Oh, how do I? All oh, right, I dropped it there. Food, water. Yeah, yeah. So they, those ones there, they, they've got well, the one you've the Gustav's got oxygen, food, and water, but it doesn't have any suits in uh, suit module slots. Mm. But the suit module slot ones don't have food, so. Okay, so we now have to decide what we're doing next um we can continue into cold stuff there's one called searchlight scan which will unlock a whole bunch of missions 
and it's a six day one skull mission or we can progress along dry run expedition which is a three skull six day mission which should give us access to hot areas that also progresses us towards um exotic radar mining And if no one has any opinion, I vote we look at the sand one just because it's going to be a bit different to what we've already seen. But I suspect yeah. in practice it's exactly the same mechanics and you get hot, not cold. It's, it's a, let's do that because it's half an hour for the end of the stream. Um, and that means that we will just be able to um, uh, just leave it go. We can always abandon it. If, if we don't think we're going to do it or whatever, we can just yeah. see if... It'll open the place up for scanning, prospecting, and a whole lot else. Dry run. Right. Cheers to the game, everyone. No worries. This side. Good night. Long. Good night. Good night. So it might be this mission's dead easy, and it's just walk up to the two boxes. We seem to be we seem to be very cautious. Like that last mission, we could probably have done in twenty minutes, and it would have been all walking. Yeah. We we don't know how hard it's going to be, so we're being yeah, sensibly cautious. Well, that friend of mine, Paul, he was, he's probably like, oh, you got to build a house, you got to do this, you got to do this in every mission. It's like, well, you know, as we've seen, it's just something that's just, like, completely not needed. Yeah, just, just... Yeah, it doesn't seem like distance, per se, is a challenge. No, just, just time. Oh, five frames a second when someone's landing. Ooh, heavy drilling rig. Okay, so we should we head north together to that first marker and then uh, try and find some. Uh, fill me water bottle and get some oxygen. Yep. Why does he restart his dialogue? Um, he hasn't done that for me. Oh. He's just talking about satellites falling from the sky. That's, that's his voice, by the way. That's how he sounds. As I, I will walk north. I'm in front. I'm just catch, say, catch me up and, and don't sprint, because it's the best way of staying together in a group. You guys make some basic weapons. A knife and a... Pick, uh, what did you pick? It's a stone axe. <laughs> Walking through the forest, murdering all the trees. And bear in mind, I do also have a, um, oh, what's it called? Not a hidey hole. Um, a level where there's no um, mobs, no bad guys. And we we can just be there for infinite time. So we can always uh, spend an evening there just sort of if you want to practice uh, building something or... You can farm XP, but it is slower. What is there to practice about building? Well, maybe you want to practice you know, your building. You know, the way you build, if you want to get better at it. I know. I'm just pointing out it's there, mostly. Practice PvP. And a wolf ready. Circumnavigating him. It's just by my dropship. Wait, I think so... My dropship. Uh, so, let me get this straight. As, as Malcolm said initially, they weren't going to have the map. Or other people's positions. Uh. Like, that's very DayZ, but no. <laughs> There's a reason I don't play DayZ. 
Yeah. People it's... sneak up on you and fuck you over. Well, Daisy was enormously popular, or still is a very, very, very popular game. And some people love those mega hardcore survival aspects. I'm just not one of them. Yeah. I like my game to be easy and just to fillet me saying how wonderful I am at computer games. I'm like, thank you, game. I am wonderful. I don't think that's too much to ask. But DDR. I do feel that this might have been watered down to be more casual, and the survival mechanism could make more sense if death was more harsh. I I agree. I think it has been uh, made more commercially viable. But I don't know if you remember Dance Dance Revolution, but you had three options to the announcer, which was brilliant. You had off, on, and don't say anything negative, which I loved. It was just just a brilliant brilliant uh, option. So you'd only say nice things about you. I found a cave, though I guess we're a little bit far from. Uh... Actually, you no, know, this isn't probably isn't a bad spot. There's a cave here, and behind me is a lake. In fact, I f funny thing, this might be the bit in the. Uh... My what's the, what's the thing that's called? It's not a prospect. I'm gonna say a loadout. It's not called a loadout. What do you mean? Outpost. Outpost. That's it. Thank you. Open the rocks. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut a swathe through the forest now, between the cave and the um, lake, and I'll take a little house down near the lake. I think I'm just going to run into the difficulty and assess how hard that is. That's a good plan. Oh, I've got concussion by standing on a tree that's having a physics issue. Brilliant. I think with the, a lot of the hardcore survival games, they make for great YouTube fodder. They make for great streams. Because the, the streamer is investing lots and lots of time. And it's very tense when he might lose all of that. And with a lot of these games, I think they're a lot more fun to watch somebody else and be, be on the, the tender hooks of will they, won't they? As opposed yeah. to. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy it for a sort yeah. of second, third part. Third yeah, third vicariously. Part. Vicariously, yeah, that's mm -hmm. one. Hence how you get the word vicar from. Really? Yep. Not from enjoying, but um, that's really the word vicar. As in, to experience remotely? Um, or to... Yeah, apparently. I, I, I'm not disagreeing with you, I've just never, 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 I'm going I'm to have to do I've never even considered the uh... etymology of the word. Etymo no. Oh, you know me, I no, don't we know. don't often do that. I, 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 I do, I love. Middle English via Anglo-Norman French from Old French vicaire from Latin vicarious meaning substitute. Oh, there you go. Which is obviously vicarious. Uh, uh, yeah. Then it says compare vice. Compare what? Sorry, vice? Vice. As in V-I-C-E? Yeah, but I'm a 14 player now. I have a vice. I'm not quite sure quite what the uh, the, the link is there because it wasn't very clear. Yes. Um, where are we setting up this house? Um, just to, just it's just gonna be a little one just to get our oxygen thingies up and probably we'll just push okay. on. But it just means that um, people who join have uh, hopefully something they can find. holding a mason item if i log off does it mean that the prospect is going to be stuck that's an interesting question and one i feel we shouldn't examine i think that's that's one of my complaints about this game by the way some of the mechanics seem so fragile i don't want to risk losing 20 hours of my life because i'm like oh it doesn't work like that oh man yeah like so again i i, I do refer to this a lot this is why i really like diablo 3 because the other thing's like, whatever, respect, go on, have fun, try this. Like, here's a suit of armour that makes you respect it. Like, oh. And you continually encourage to try out new ways of playing the game, 
and experience it in new and different ways. I suppose to here, where I'm agonizing about spending talent points. Yeah. I guess if you would agonize our basic resources, that could be interesting. But the basic resources are quite easily taken care of. Yes. There's no really tension there. And to be honest, even the higher ones aren't just worth going into a cave. I also wish that the, the mainstream media would stop reporting on shit happening at Clarkson's farm. <laughs> like, they don't, report, jump a bit. they don't report on any other fucking farms, and I, I don't want spoilers about what's going to happen in the season. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, because I said, Clarkson's farm was one of the best things I've ever watched. I say it was enormously informative, very, very interesting, and I, I felt sorry for the, the poor millionaire. Um, and... Um, Someone said this has done more for the British farming industry than uh, 30 years of... Is it Farmer's World? I forgot the name of the, the farming programme. Country File. Country File, that's the one. County File, as my mate would call it. There's not really a representative. But yeah, it's... Um, it's such an eye-opener about the state of the British farming industry. And also, how shit it is. I'm like, it's not that difficult to cover your fields over have sprinklers and uv lights inside surely when, when you're talking about you know half a million pounds worth of corn or, or, or whatever surely the investment is worth it but apparently not and they're still stuck with oh dear it's raining bugger i'll admit i don't know that much about farms most of my experience is either Clarkson's farm or farming simulator. Did I not just craft a torch? Oh, there it is, in my inventory. In case there's going to be difficulties and somebody needs to come rest me. You are... Going an on. extremely long way from the rest of us. I'm probably gonna effectively be off waiting for that rest. Then. Anyone have a bow and arrow? I I've got worms. Negative. You see them? Um, I can make them see me by just uh, standing there. But I can hear the music. So I think they can see you. Oh, great. I need some oxygen first. There's some behind that. There's a tree just to here? Yeah. There's oxygen yeah. growing through a tree. Rather amusingly. some wood here there is what in the fire yep oh well, there you go i'm always carrying plenty of wood and i need 50 wood and more stone god damn it oh, uh, there's a hundred wood here oh hello dora why are you Please. sitting on my why are you sitting on both testicles simultaneously is really the question I have for you. And secondary question of how. Oh, cat power. Yeah. Never my cat do that. Sorry? I've never had my cat do that. Well, I have particularly mighty testicles. Ah, yes. Blue balls. <laughs> no, just, just enormous. Just, just basically like... Yeah. 
I've got a pair of oranges in the pants. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you imagine? Because obviously in, in society we, 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 we mock people for small penises and we brag about large ones, but never balls. Never, I've just got yeah. the biggest balls you've ever seen. To be like, oh. Well, that sounds like you've got to some sort of cancer you're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, don't that. Oh, um, we should make a bed. Uh, what do I need for a bed? Uh, polyester, polyester. Fiber, wool, and leather. Either down? Uh, well, if I see any ducks, I'll let you know, but until that point. Oh, yeah, of course we won't. The batteries are all uh, being changed. <laughs> Uh, I need some, si uh, not silica, uh, sulfur. Uh, sulfur happens near rocks, like up hills and shit. Let's have a look. Wow, this, this area here is so blatantly obvious to cover up the cave beneath. Sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. Sulfur, where are you? No, I haven't got bloody arrows, have I? Um. She built the house in front of two bloody trees. Well, feel free to chop them down. Oh, I am. That's just one bit concerned that it might damage the house. Hut thing. Oh, aim. Yeah, I can't really do that because I'm right next to the bloody house. I'm doing, aiming them away from the house is a pretty good thing, but... Ah, okay, I've got some sulfur. I don't know how... Sweet. The shopper hasn't screamed in terror yet, so I assume he's doing all right. Yeah. Got 49 sulfur coming. Nice. Two objectives down without any major thing. Well, if previous levels of this game is anything to go... I think what's, what's throwing me off is the six-day time limit. So I assume it's going to be... Like, like the um, collect all these resources. Well, that was, that was an epic quest. That was awesome. But a lot of these are like yeah. six days. What is it? Run over here. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm assuming that the cave entrance is in the sand area, but actually, I don't, don't know. Uh, so are oh, you making a, a an oxygen? There is one made oh. over here. Oh, but it needs sulfur. Yep. And can we make a bed? I have nine leather. Mm. I could understand if there was in addition a game time limit, so you would like not well at least be tempted not to skip nights just to save on time. Yes, because obviously we are... Uh, well, I mean, that's the weird thing. I mean, I, I guess the point is that when you're... Um, if you skip the night... No, it doesn't reduce the counter, does it? So you want to skip the night. You want to sleep through it. Because what they should have done is designed it so skipping the night knocks 12 hours off your timer. So what you want to do is to set up the high-end torches that you light up your base and stuff. I mean, I was struggling, even with our base lit up, I was struggling to, like, see inside our house at night. Yeah. Mm. You do get electric lights. I would lights. have both limits. I think the real-time limit is sensible, but I think there would need to be game-time limit also. Yes. I mean, I, I, well, as I mentioned, one of my one of my issues about early access or not is it's very rare a game is brave enough to, to properly reinvent itself based on feedback. Um, I said Fortunecraft is one of the very few that did like massive reinvention of what the game was several times. No Man's Sky again, huge changes and improvements. I suspect this will just get some new biomes and some new areas, and uh, that's probably about it. 
Well, lots of games, they kind of end up going down this rabbit hole of, of um, doing stuff that not really anybody wants. Yeah. Some games, yeah, some games manage it very well, and they end up, with, end up implementing awesome things that people are super happy with, but uh, it's a lot more games just end up not really listening, sticking sticking to their guns and, and not necessarily in a, in a in a good way. But listening to the game, player base is kind of tricky in that there are many diverse opinions in the game place. Yes, which you is can't, why... can't, like, follow them all. Yes, which is why I always used to explain to people that when they wanted a certain thing, I was, I was like, I don't necessarily disagree with the thing that you want, but it's just you that wants that. And I get to see the summation of all of the feedback from all of the people. So I have a very good idea if one person wants this or a thousand. And a lot of people didn't seem to understand Oof. that they want it, so therefore loads of people must want it. Right? It's, it's just really not true. Certainly not, as I said, when you're the first person to ever ask for this. I guarantee right. it's not uh, widely asked for. Yeah, I just got fixed. Um, that's... Oh, shoot. Ah. What? Oh, uh, just... The ramp is about an inch taller than the... That, because that one's not supported. Because <laughs> that doesn't count as support, because it can't root find to the ground. And... Uh. Why is that not counting as... supported more no it's not why is that not counting as supported like that. I wish when you crafted something it very clearly moved into your inventory or the hot bar. Yeah. But I'm looking around going, what? Because you know, sometimes it's sort of doing a little animation or a, or a ping or a ding or something. Mm. Look at the meme map, been on here about five seconds now. There we go. Oh, yes, a cat trapper is by a cave. Well, just outside the cave is the desert area. Are we sure it's not the desert area? Because that sounds a lot more appealing. Got one S. Damn it. Are you sure? Are you happy? With yeah, dessert two? has two. Yeah, but if, is this the dessert area? Because that would be wonderful. Much better. Like, would you rather be in the desert biome or the dessert biome? I mean, honestly. Uh, did you it's made of uh, lollipops and uh, sweeties. Might be fantastic, but not good for your, um, the, the thing uh, is, for your teeth. You say that, but I remember the, uh, the Candyland from Transport Tycoon, so... <laughs> Mm, true. I'm not sure I, not sure I want to be in that area. Uh, your tanks filled up, BJ. My what? Sorry. Oxygen tank. Oh. No, 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 it hasn't. Don't, don't, don't go and check. It's fine. That take forever. Oh, which is fine. I don't mind that. Slow charge, slow recharge. That's that's cool. Happy with that. You say slow your consumption of it down quite easily as well. I'll stand near you. Suck the life out of your very lungs. Yeah, um, it's easier so, to make sure. So did we get a bed? So this is my this is my issue. So because there's no eye adaptation, I'm squinting inside the house, which has surrounded by windows going, oh, have we got this thing? Fair, there is a type of roof with a hole in it. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a trap. That was a specific thing. Okay. Um, crafting beds. What do I need? Fur and leather. Right. Well, if anyone sees anything that drops fur and leather, please murder it to death. I uh, will do. 
only charge that one bottle at a time though, that system. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna nick the bottle for a moment because I'm, I'm literally getting about dead on um, Yeah. I just want to fill my lungs up, that's all. <laughs> I'll put it back in a minute. You got your own bottle or have you... I don't, no, I went bladder. to the water bottle rather than the bladder. I've got a, uh, uh, a Hulu canteen. Yeah, I've, I've um, given you... Not, there's a noxion bladder in there as well if you want it. I'm, yes, please, I'm just, I'll just swap this out. I, I'd like to point out that I could definitely fill a um, an air bottle. I could fill a water bottle up and breathe from it. I'm sure that would work. <laughs> mm. A water bottle? Yeah, like you've got like, a two litre bottle of air. That's oh, I see, just fill it up, yeah. Just fill it up. Same thing. But, like, but, yeah. but crap, you yeah. know. Use it as a rebreather, yeah. Could you access it without spilling? Or like leaking? Um, no, but considering that currently my plan is I literally stuff rocks in my mouth to breathe, I'm sure it's going to be better than that. I could grind up a couple of litres of oxide and just pop it in the, uh, you know, Coke bottle. Um, how's, it, how's it going out there, Shalka? I am making a small outpost before peeking in. Okay. I have arrived at the cave. Don't need any uh, basic armor. Cloth feet. Um, uh, I, would, cloth I, armor. I would happily wait if you have any suit of armor. I would happily wear it. Yeah, I'll go for it. I like not being naked. I tried to make wood armor, but that didn't go very well. Uh. Rides up a little in the crotch. Ah. Uh. The old chestnut. Pe the old pair of chestnuts, as I mentioned, with the massive balls and everything. Like two massive spiky conkers. <laughs> oh, I can imagine that far too well, and I wish I couldn't. Our chat's busy tonight, by the way. Feel free to say hi. You get lots of lurkers. And just, you know, you can talk to me. At least just sort of say hi when you come. So I can go, hey, I was going to ask you about the... Uh... I think a lot of people find watching survival games quite relaxing as well. And I just I wish I knew why these windows counted as doesn't, doesn't expose. I still find it very surprising we've had so few over the 18 months we've been streaming. People going, oh, you should play X or you should play Y. Like, very, very, very few bits of feedback on that. Like, yeah. The, like, I'm surprised. We're like, oh, I love this game. You should play it. Usually we get the other thing. We play something slightly obscure and people are like, can I play with you? Because there's no one else playing the game. <laughs> and mm. usually the answer is, yeah. I got downed. Ah, uh, what bike? Uh -oh. I'm in the game. What bike? Wolf. Wolf? Ah. Wolf. Um, yeah, okay, I'll tell you what, hold on. I'm, I'm good on food, I'm good on water. I've left the guys. Already. Oh, uh, let me put some clothes on, Shaka, and I'm, I'm all yours. Uh, I mean, stick, I'm going to stick one pile here and one pile somewhere else. So. I think I'm going to deposit the mission items when I get back on my feet and then I'm going to yep. get out from the prospect. You're going to get out from the prospect? Well, then I'll just... You go to bed. Yeah, go to bed. No, I, I, I am too. I'm, I'm going to get to you and I'm going to finish off. Bear in mind, yeah. feel free to log on. This game has a lot of content. If you log on, when I'm not here and you go, I've completed this level for you, absolutely fine. I'm not going to go, oh no, I really want to watch that cutscene or whatever. I don't think the game has any particularly, so uh, feel free. Especially if it's like the uh, missions where it's like collect 10,000 pumpkins or whatever. You want to log on for lunchtime or early in the morning in the evening and uh, do a little bit of progression. Because I think that's what makes this game great, is that ability to... Um, to do that, because Conan Exiles and... Um, 
Yeah, the other one. The other one. Other one. Rust. Send it. You can do it, but you need dedicated server. And I think they've done a very good job of giving you 90% of the benefit of a dedicated server without actually making you run dedicated servers. Although, I'd love to see what happened with Todd hosting. I'd love to see a beat, the gate, the that run on this. Who's Todd? Or Todd is the one with the bad uh, Tad. Sorry. Tad. Right. Okay. Tad sorry. So Todd is my artist. Uh. Tad, on the other hand, is art himself. In my mind, he's about five foot one and eighteen stone. I've absolutely no idea what he looks like. It's all right though. Let me go for Henry. You carry on because I'm going to. Um, I'm going to head to bed after I rescue Shalka. Right. That's both as a double-edged sword with this game. It manages to do that thing where, where you go, oh, I'll just I'll just do this, and I'll just do that, and I'll just do that, and then I'll just do this, and I'll just do that. Yeah. And you haven't achieved what you wanted to do, and it's two hours later than you thought it was going to be. Yeah. But you've done something all the time. Yes, mm. and time just slips away. I mean, if I was to guess, I feel like we've been only playing this game for half an hour, maybe 45 minutes tonight. Mm -hmm. I know we haven't. That's how it feels. Yeah. <gasps> Level up to 20. Oh. So I, 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 I don't if I uh, mentioned, so very curious about the, the drop off of my car. So when I got to the Tesla garage, it just pops up a message on your phone saying, thanks for dropping it off. Fuck off. In a nice way. And then that's it. Like, they take the car in, fix it, and then leave it back in the parking place. I never even saw another well, human being. As far as I know, they have elves or Oompa Loompas fixing the cars. <laughs> it's really brilliant and so elegant. Just the car, just looks to my phone goes, thanks for dropping it off. We'll let you know when it's done. Like, oh, do I not have so to? So sort of there and then. What do you mean, sorry? Did you have to get someone, did you leave it there at all for a while? And come back well let's drive off and come back later or do you just stay in the area well if i drove off then i would have the car they need well the car. no sorry what i mean is did you, did you need a, did you need a second car no no i, I just no. sat in there so they, you went there i waited right they, yeah they have yeah. a fancy coffee machine which i broke oh yeah and free food i was like ah brilliant um but if you are expecting a courtesy car there's a locker and you'll get a pin on your phone and then you'll just go and pick up the courtesy card so just doing it, so you don't have to employ someone whose job it is just to stand there going, hello, what do you want? Oh, well, hold on, I'll find someone. Yeah. Mm. Which is a brilliant idea. Um, but yeah, um, it took a lot longer than expected, but only because ahead of me, someone turned up with uh, some work that took much longer than expected. So, But I could see on my phone app, I could see that my car went from parked to in service. So I knew when they had the car. Right, yeah. It's just, it's just so... I, I love it. I love this, this... It's like when I first got my Chromecast. I evangelised my Chromecast to everyone. Not because it was particularly brilliant or good, but because it worked. It did what it should do. You did the bare minimum. Yeah. You did it well. And I like this. This is just very elegant. And if you've ever, mm. ever had to deal with a garage, you'll know that they are the worst technical people in the world. So I went to my, my Impreza garage, and, he's, and I'm like, oh, I said, you got a new Monty? He goes, yeah, I've got this great big Monty, but I was, I was expecting to get more on it. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, I was expecting I could fit more, more, more windows on it. And I had a glance around, and I said, well, <laughs> you're running at 124 by 768. So. He goes, what? <laughs> I go, let, let it go. And it was a 1440p monitor, and he's like, oh, yeah, that's brilliant. I'm like, yeah, so <laughs> everything's so small. <laughs> but you're in my world now. Um, yes. but my other garage. Let me charge you my prices. <laughs> well, the thing is, the other garage, they'd always do the same thing. I'd end up ringing them up, and they're like, "I'm like, I have emails." They go, "Oh yeah, we're having problems with our email system." I'm like, "Oh, fuck off, are you? It's not 1998. No one has problems with their email system. If you do, register fucking your garage name at gmail.com because they don't mm. have problems with their email." Oh, I'm combat. Oh, Mercy not looked at it. Houston, we have a problem. Uh oh, you dead? Yeah, yes. you dead. Yes. Right. Um, oh crap! I got too exposed. Because of this bear. Mm. So, Icarus, can you revive offline, 
people? No, not yet. No, that's not what I want. Wow, this design is brilliant because it structures your interaction with the map means you'll never get bored. What? Wow. See, this is the problem with listening to the community. So what if you've lost a level 25 character? Just do a new one. It's quite easy to level in four days casual gameplay time. What the fuck? Right, you are never allowed to comment on anything about computer games ever again. You're now banned. Mm. Thankfully, next comment, hearing about this permadeath pretty much killed my interest in the game. Yeah. Next comment. I really wish this trend of Icarus players trying to take the hardcore elements out of the game would stop. Yeah, okay, but... Uh... So you want to play chess without chess pieces while they're arguing, but it's not. It's no. Fucking shit. no, no, let's play chess. It's and not every time... not... No, let's play chess, and every time you lose a piece, I'm going to stick it in a fucking macerator. Actually, no, let's not play that. that that's what they're talking about here. Uh... If you want a bastard hard game, then what's the point of having, you know, a community to argue about it? You know, just dick, be a dictator. The, the problem you've got don't, with people. Let me choose. Just, just you know, be. This is how it's going to be. And if you don't like it, fuck off. You know? the, the part of the issue is that people who want the hardcore games are generally, as a rule, male, younger, and unemployed. It's a sort of a yeah. stereotypical. Yeah. They have the time to invest, and with a lot of people. And again, this is more about the younger male demographic. They have something to prove. Are you only playing it on ultra hardcore? I play it on you know, mega nightmare mode. It's that sort of brash, well, I'm playing it harder than you, therefore I'm better I've than you. I've got bigger dick. But yeah. I, I, I don't care anymore. I'd much rather run around with my friends and uh, get eaten by a bear. Um, so is Henry going to try and recover us, or are we going to just... Yeah, give me a second. I'm drop okay, off my that's stuff fine. That's fine. first. Um, but yeah. But this is the problem. Like Dark Souls began this sort of uh, thing. I hate. Yeah. And it, you know, some people like that, and that's cool. But it's mostly streamers as well. It's not so much your average person, and certainly not people with a job. Someone's saying it only takes four days of casual play in order to. Uh, get back a level 25 character that you've lost like well i mean when i lost my very small base in minecraft because a tesla tesla creeper the fuck a creeper up what? i just went oh oh f4 right click uninstall never went back just like uh i think i've just lost a load of oxide um yeah that's great sending everything into the limited space i think i had about two or for at least three full stacks of oxide, just put them into the crafting, uh, the dissolver, and there's only two full stacks in there now. And it's not uh, got some in my inventory. Might be on the floor, but I can't see it. I Come have missing items in my body, so before the end of the session, it would be. Ah, uh, I guess it I could can... be. Yeah, it's moving there, actually. That's a good point. They are there. Right, I've not lost them. Phew. <sighs> Now where can I put these oxides? Just need more space. Like if if players are playing for progression, like in a game you where you can't lose, then you it's more proper to pace out the progress. But if you have a genuine chance of losing, then the progress can be hard if you can wipe. Yes. I mean, when you, it's a game where you're progressing forwards, then you have to start again. I mean, you wouldn't have to start the prospects again. So you do keep your prospect progress, um, but you because that's account-wide, but you would lose all your progression. Yeah. Uh, okay. And I think this game works fine as a progression game until you, like, suddenly lose a character. Yeah. If you had to more mm. actively survive early on than would be like more tension based and then it wouldn't be like a sudden surprise when you lose characters. Yeah. Yes. Do we have a bed in here? Uh, no, we didn't have the resources. Oh, that's what I was going to do, wasn't it? Damn it. Um... 
fur. Where have I just put the fur? There. 18. Have you got two fur anywhere, someone? Um, not there. I mean, I have played Dark Souls, and quite frankly, it feels like most of the challenge in that game was um, awful controls more than anything else. They really were absolutely awful and just sluggish and just, I was like, this isn't hard. A game that's razor sharp and hard is fine. A game that's, I'm struggling with crap camera and then I'm, my ca and then the camera's looking down because I've backed up against a wall and then uh, I get hit by a ball I didn't see. I'm like, this isn't hard. It's just poor. Mm. Oh, did Max leave or is his internet just gone? He was having all his internet the other day. Not a happy man. Ah. Uh. So there's one player on their feet now. Yes. I'm trying to kill this thing. Oh, it disappeared. Um. Oh, I need to... Two more leather, or two more fur, who was that? See that something is there, but I can't see anything. Mm. Large deer. Ah. Oh. Whatever it was, I got it. Wolf, fuck yeah. Um, when you put your torch away, I can't see anything. Shh. Where was this? Oh, welcome back, Max. Did your internet just uh, have a moment? Yeah. Oh, that's rather There rubbish. we go. Yeah, that's it is. Oh, we got it all. Enough for a bed. Good. But now I've got to figure out where the hell our base is. Well, I should in theory respawn back. I'm getting closer because he felled trees. That's one of the things I do like doing is just, <laughs> yeah, <we laughs> just kill, kill all the trees because then it's very clearly like, here's the blank spot, it's here. Yeah. Um, well, I'm hit resume prospect and hope that just lets me in. Yeah, it should do. Uh, give me a sec to make a bed and then sleep through the night. Uh, I can't see where that is. Ah, um... uh, campfire. Bollocks. This can take you into a random other posted session, not as clear. You're right, on. slept. Yeah, Good. Yeah, I did a meat. Uh, cook that. Right, there's plenty of leather and stuff here. Actually, yeah. Right, I can mix the nurse. Right, come and get you guys now. Keep our eye open for bears. Do you have the, the hunting skills so you can see bears and shit or not? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Actually, hang on. Give me a sec. Um... Yes, I do. Okay, well, keep your eye open for bears. The wolf. It seems unable to find your hosted session for whatever reason. Uh, that's not Tuesday. You're both online. It is Tuesday. 
It was Tuesday. Oh, that might. Yeah. Well, um, my baby. Days. No, um, serve so Steam do rolling shutdowns of their servers on Tuesday nights. Right. We found this out playing Dungeon Defenders. We would all get kicked off. <laughs> Are we going to get kicked imminently then as well, do you think? Uh, it, that might be why... Um... Matt, it's, saying, oh, it's saying Session is currently hosted by another player. Would you like to join? I'm like, yeah. Mm. And then it's just like spin, 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 spin. Uh, it should then say Finding Session. Yes. Finding hosted Session, please wait. And nothing's happening. It's just now, in see, the box. This has to always work because this could be your prospect. Yes. Yeah. You have to go right 45 degrees. Henry, you've got a big mountain to come up. Yep, that's going to carry on straight. Yes, yeah, so you. All, this has to be bulletproof, not most of the time. Yeah, I might just reboot. Ooh. Let's see how fast we can reboot. Do it back. I am being a second pair of eyes for you here, Henry, but... Uh... Yeah, good, good. Hmm. Oxides. That it's not showing me. Mm. Boar. Hello. Welcome back. Bison. Doom's having some sort of outage, I think. Yeah, no, that's, just, that's the problem with all of these games. That, that can't... That can't yeah. happen. P people will get so pissy. I, I, I've mentioned this before. I think like, you can, but it's mustn't. People yeah. get oh, hella angry when they couldn't log on to the Warcraft server. Like, I want my money back, I want a refund. People are like, you haven't been able to log on for three hours. This is about one-tenth of a penny of your um, uh, subscription. Do you really want yeah. Blizzard to refund you a tenth the penny? They will. <laughs> I love the way though uh, Zebra pointed this out. We, uh, so I'm currently watching Mr. Chicken Rex on View, who's wearing the cloth armor that Max made on top of his spacesuit. Now, I know what sort of terrible spacesuit. Or jumpsuit that doesn't keep you warm, or why this would provide any uh, protection whatsoever. Yeah, so go, no, go down to the left, Henry. Yeah, I just want to have a more high okay. vantage point. Over Anakin, I have the high ground. Yep, corpse is just down there. And let me switch back to my corpse. Um, Animal bear. I see no bears, but this is not necessarily great information there's something there there's a deer oh, just dear. Away. yeah it's okay the sunlight's just hitting it now give it a few more moments there's a chamois and a, uh, mm -hmm. there's a buffalo near me a what sign buffalo okay buffalo. So i thought you said a bear fellow i was like all right either it's a naked man or it's a type of bear If I abandon the prospect, can I rejoin the prospect? No. No. So that would be... I understand why that would be abusive, because you could leave and come back. You could join, like, ten prospects and then dive in and out of them. Because this is just struggling to find the hosted session, what looks like. Right, so bandages don't restore your health at all, then? Like, no, they just... Just don't. And I don't have any bone or leather for a suture. 
Uh, give me a sec. Um, I don't have any either. What hunter you are? Well, I dropped it all off before coming to rescue okay. you. Okay, I found like a perceived generated cabin in the woods, so I'm gonna burn this down. Ah. Nope. Failed to find Unreal Session when attempting to join slash resume prospect. Error code. Failed to find Unreal Session 008. Mm -hmm. That really is, it's sir. confused about your exit, probably. Mm, probably, yeah. I think it's because he's left on a Tuesday night. But almost we definitely uh, the Steam back end to query yeah, the uh, so active games. Stopped rejoining an existing session, maybe. So if we left we couldn't really join if you left you better until about 1 a.m but we used to, we used to very purposely play snow run on tuesday nights because we were playing out an epic <laughs> yeah um, for crafting the church you need a stitch kit i could do the suture kit yes please yeah the fun thing was my um, router said that the intent was definitely up i'm like well it's not you can see there's no data coming through you know, and that's you know, compared to what I was doing a second ago. Is this the incident? Are you teaching? Uh, I'm just at Shaka's house. In fact, Shaka, I'll just make you a little door and things. I have deposited the mission items into the outpost. Okay. Awesome. And um, the stitches, such as, such as kit. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, depending on who's around t tonight, tomorrow and stuff, I would like to give Surgeon Simulator a try. Um, there is a tutorial, but I don't know if it's optional. Um, I did enjoy it, but it just struck me that it's a game that would be really fun and enjoyable and probably quite easy and fun. Four player. I'll be a multiplayer. Yeah. And an absolute ball like single player. Yeah. It's also one of those. to be geared up for multiplayer. Yes, yes, but it's very different to Surgeon Simulator One. Uh, Henry, should we make a bed here? Yep. I'm also going uh, to need more fur. Game, it was a pool. There. Boom. Make a bed here. Set no wool fur. That is very weird. So yeah, I said I can build. I can deconstruct an object, but only if I have another one to replace it with. Even the one I deconstruct goes yeah. back into my inventory. Yep. Not early access. Yeah. I, I think Valve should have been a lot more involved in early access. Because early access should be, if it runs, it's fine. If you if it runs and you know people come to me say to me wow Warcraft is really stable I'm like what early access games you playing that haven't been stable I mean, that's bare minimum not polished mm. doesn't work yeah but you know it shouldn't crash other than that every single thing that's in the game is a positive as far as you should be a positive as far as you're concerned but people now yeah. expect early access games to be essentially a vertical slice like Astroneer there's barely any game in Astroneer at all but it was very polished yeah. Um, and it had the drawback, as pointed out at the time, that their progression rate was abominably slow. Uh, this cave, I do not like this cave. Uh. It's been no well, way. Uh, Andy Balcom's uh, full bright hacks here. Plenty of resources and minerals, though. Can't work out how to get out. It might be that I need a better pickaxe. Team fur. survived one death drama so I'm not gonna enter another one. That's probably Check why. Check on tomorrow. Oh, thank you for joining us. Yep. 
I wonder how I'm supposed to build ramps out of wood. I, I, I really feel I should do more of this, by the way. So I think you can actually <laughs> rather abuse the, uh, the building. So it even looks like there's a, there's an exit in the roof. Hmm. One more fur, damn it. Yeah, so, I mean, very obviously, um, this graphic here is to be removed. It's really obvious. It's not It's not like anything else we've seen. I might be able to get out that way. Let's try. Probably not, though. But it might be we need to make explosives or something. Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh. What? Look. Oh. What have you done? What's up? I... Uh -oh. I... I... I may have got my character somewhere that my character shouldn't be. A. I made my character unconscious achieving it. B. And there's no way anyone's rescuing me for quite a while. C. So I'm just going to Google Icarus, locate the cave entrance. Uh, and I, I will be bowing out. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I, I could try kicking you. One sec. Oh, uh, no, that kicked No, that... It's, it's yours. I know I can... Oh, yeah. If I restart the server. Yeah. Right. If you log out. Oh, the sheet. right. No, it's fine. So basically what has to happen next is you have to put the solar panel down and then run cables through to this drill and then um, use use the options we've got. But that's fine. You can do that by the time I play next. That's that's all right. Uh, How do we ring? OK, oh, right, OK, fine. So you haven't got any tunneling drill, electricity tool, solar panel, yeah. right. What, do you want me to try and res? Well, I say not res you. You won't be able to. Um, you won't be able to. You definitely won't. If I if I kick you, I I was then able to drop back in. It was a weird. Yeah, but it's my um, it's my prospect. So I doubt you'll be able to. You'll yeah. Okay. I can't, I can't. Yeah. I can't kick you currently. I can unstuck. Ooh. Try. Yeah. Could try that maybe. Which has moved me all the way back to my base. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's moving all the way back to my base, and I'm now unconscious in my drop pod. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to head to bed anyway. Um, Get but, someone else in. Yeah. I, I've, I've put a <laughs> yeah. link to what to do, so hopefully that happens before I uh, walk back home. Um, but as ever, that was fun. I, I, I do enjoy this game. It's, nice, it's a nice world to be in. No matter how many mm. issues it's got, um, I said probably tomorrow. But we should give Service and Simulator at least a quick bash and see if it if it's uh, as fun as I'm hoping. Um, thank you. Don't, yeah. don't forget to like and subscribe.